Okay, so let's just do the learning scenario. Yeah, uh, obviously, there are a deck of cards that have different, you know, scenarios. Let me turn down the music. Charge my phone. Mm. The phone charger. All right. Hey, what's up, AG five thousand Splinter Celius? What's up? Hey, hey. What's going hey, on? Hey, people. He says. All right. So, learning scenario setup diagram. So we got the three by three play space. Right. Oh, let me actually make sure I got these cameras going. Yeah. I haven't messed around with my star wars setup as you can see it's still says player name i'll need to tell him to get rid of those yeah because or make them make them blank so that i can put in yeah, my right. own right so let's see no signal Turn that on. what hey hey captain mick dauber Thank you for What's resubscribing and supporting our show and everything that we do here. Thank you, Captain. Can y'all hear the music a little bit? Is it low? It's about the right volume level to not be annoying. Apache Heli. Hey, hey. 13 months, Captain. I appreciate that. Okay, let's go through these. Is that Brian? I don't know what. What camera would that be? Interesting. So this. Oh, brain, brain, brain eclipse. Is this brain camera? Brain of Brian. There it goes. I can't see. Music's all good, all good in the hood. All right, close B cam. B cam looks to be off. B cam is off. Okay, so. Over cam. Over cam. Get that going. Come on down. About right there. All right. And then I'll have to tell him to the. What was right? The you are an idiot. Pitch what on did Twitch. You say, boy? Wow. Really? Thank you. Hitch on Twitch. Hitch on Twitch. Hitch on Twitch is going to get the belt. Yep. <laughs> no, and you won't get the belt because you subscribed. Resubscribed. It says 38 months of joy. Thanks for sticking with the tabletop stuff, Joe. Thank and you for from watching. the start. Have fun, boys. Thanks, Hitch on Twitch. Hell yeah, man. Oh, yeah. We're going big this year. We're, we're getting back into the swing of things, me and, and Jay here. We just took a little break. Um, well, Jay went over to LVO, yeah, talked to a bunch of people and companies. It's going to be awesome, guys. Um, and we'll slowly build it back up, you know. And we do it for those of you who enjoy. We do it for ourselves, frankly, you know. Um, it's obviously not the biggest view getter, but this is how we relax. Yeah, it's something we like to do and like to share with you guys. So I'm going to tell this guy. Let's see. See, I like the idea. He's got the, the idea is good there. You see the flashy bit for whose turn it is, but I don't know if I can. I have to really think that out. Yeah. 
to see if I can still I, make yeah, that I like work. That. Oh, yeah, I do like that. But I, right now, I only have one of them. I don't like the other one. And then I don't know how to... How to do it. And honestly, it might just be too big of a hassle to just like constantly have to make sure that I'm on the right scene. Yeah. You know, it's not much of a gain. But that's what we do here at the Angry Joe Show. We're always experimenting. We're always trying to push the envelope and do, do the best we can with what we got. What I'm doing right now is I'm trying to find a charger for my phones. Right back. Yeah. Got it. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, it's Blinder Zelly. Is he talking about Suicide Squad? Yeah. Yeah. All right, we got to get B cam. Look at that. That's cool. I love that one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's <laughs> that's fucking nasty. I like that. In a short time, your fate will be sealed, Superman. Oh, Running Tree. Hello. Hey, but Running Tree's thing didn't come up. Yeah, not on this one. Or is it just... Wait, why did why did Splinter Celius's come up, but not Running Tree? Oh, because that's technically... A notification. Yeah. I could freaking name these. Yeah, right. Hmm. So something is up. Ah. Okay. <laughs> that would help, huh? No link. So. Get this linked. Oh, there we go. Yep, that's it. All right. All right, so uh, let's see. Playing the game, object of the game. So let's do the setup. So play on a flat table surface, three by three. Yep. Player set up on opposite edges. Um, okay. Initiative token. Each player chooses their faction. Got it. Roll one blue die to determine which player has initiative. So I rolled a sword critical. You got a crit, so I and guess you that's got a regular. Normal. Yeah. 
So if the result is a explosion, the player who rolled the die places the initiative token next to their edge of the play area with the blue side face up, displaying the something icon. Otherwise, the player places the token next to their edge. Do you have an initiative token? I don't think I Yeah, right there. Okay. Yep. All right. And then each player gathers the ship cards in a single squadron card mm -hmm. for their faction. The Republic player gathers this. This is obviously going from this. This is the, I guess, the new starter. Yeah, for yeah. the separate. I want to play that, by the way. Yeah. I actually have that. So Yeah, yeah. once we learn it, I, I we definitely, learn um, it. you know, depending on how it plays. I, I call the Republic. Uh, oh, fuck. Yep. Uh, <laughs> I guess it'll be the Empire at right, that right. time. All right, all right. Prepare ships. Uh, we did that. Speed dial, set it to two. So everything's at two, at least in the introductory. You got that? At two? Okay. Speed two. Okay, prepare squadron, set all the set set them all to blue. Blue. Activation side to blue. All right. Check. And make sure that uh, I guess their disc point to the maximum number on the disc. Yep. Oh, Five. So wrong. Cinco. Okay. All right, and then uh, yeah, defense tokens indicated on each ship card. You you did you didn't get those, did you? Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. Put it on the green side. Yeah. All right, play ships and squadron. Each player places all of their ships and squadrons in the play area as close as possible to the position shown in the diagram using the range ruler. All right, well it's like doing. Since we're not doing that, you go ahead and just place your the the star destroyer in the middle one. And then yeah. choose a side for the other one. Or just go put them like that. What was it, three? Three? Yeah. No, no. Just just, just put, put them up there. against oh, the okay. side. Yeah. Like yeah we'll just in between. Like, yeah. yeah. All right. Prepare, uh, prepare shared components. Got it. Create the supplies. So there's supposed to be a bunch of command tokens. Um, I have some. Which ones? Just various. Oh, yeah, symbols I've got those and right command here. Tokens. Yeah, I got. I got. I give okay. to you as you need. All right, what happened to the music? What's up, Jai Samurai? Hey, Samurai. Paper biscuit. <coughs> okay, let's get rid of this. Paper biscuit. Now we're just playing a learning game today. Uh, Eventually, if we uh, get around to it, we'll try a campaign. But right now is just our learning, learnings. That way, that way. Okay. This one just has a bunch of dead air. He's got to pull this out of the What the heck? Okay. Um. All right, so uh, object of the game in a competitive is uh, command, attack, maneuver, destroy each other's fleet. So this is just going to be straight up fight just to learn the yeah. basics again. I mean, I've played before, but I don't really remember much. So here's how we do it. First phase is the co there's four phases to this game. Right. Uh, command phases first. Players assign command dials to each of their ship. This is a, a thing I think I like m most about the game. So you'll have th four commands, and you've got the rule book right yep. there. So you see navigate, right. squadron, uh, repair. Here, let me clear the dice. Navigate, squadron, repair, and concentrate firepower. These are the things that you can choose from on these little uh, discs. Mm -hmm. So during this phase, players secretly and simultaneously use their command dials to choose commands for each of their ships. Uh, so go ahead and do that, and then we'll convene once you are done.
change the speed. In the low break in the world, Kawase. Hey, Vork! Thank you so much, Vork. Vork, for resubscribing 119 wow. months. You building Gundams right now? Oh, hey, nice. that's a great that's a great way to spend Sunday. What what model Gundam? Mm-hmm. Almost 120 months. Wow. All right, so I've got all mine squared away. What about you? Uh, okay, so. Well, I guess we need to know what each of these does. Yeah, right. Uh, Hold on. Uh, yeah, that's what I was uh, looking so at. On the back of the thing, it says. Um, so, navigate is the arrow one. When a ship is uh, determining course for a maneuver, it may spend one of its command dial navigate to increase or decrease its speed by one. Also, it can adjust one point, one joint, one more click than the speed chart normally allows. Because, you know, so it basically allows you to turn better and go faster or slower. Okay. So that's what navigate. Squadron. The ship may spend its squadron uh, dial to activate a number of friendly squadrons up to its squadron value. It can only activate squadrons that are at close to medium range. Each squadron activated this way can attack and move in either order. Uh, the ship chooses and activates one squadron at a time. Now, I guess the question would be, um, in a normal game, are the squadrons inside the ships? And in this game, the squadrons are already deployed. So let me deploy my squadrons because I didn't do that. Yeah. <coughs> I'm curious. Too bad if we don't got Trist time up in here. Trist time can show us what's what. Mm, yeah. Okay. Um. And then repair. Obviously, the ship may spend engineering points equal to its engineering value. And then move a shield from one zone to another zone, just simply moving a shield. Or two points to recover a shield. Or three points to discard any face-up or face-down damage cards. Mm, okay. So you have to really have at least three points to do all the good stuff. So, like, my Corvette can't can't do that. It only has two engineering points. So, oh, okay. if, so if it ever takes one of those damage cards, it can't do shit about it. And then finally, probably the more common one is concentrate firepower. After a ship rolls dice during the attack, you may spend the concentrate firepower to roll one additional attack die. That die must be of a color that has already been rolled. A ship with the token may spend the token after to re-roll one. Okay. And then there's these little tokens, yeah. So the tokens do, so, do other things. They're like weaker versions of the dial. Oh, uh, okay. So how do they those come into play? Yeah, come, when a player reveals a ship's command dial, that player can spend the dial to place the matching command token next to the ship. Uh -huh. The maximum number of command tokens. Okay, so may spend its command dial, or you could just let it keep the token there, and then in the future use it. I don't know. I think it's it might just be like a just a reminder. All right. All right. Ready? Yep. So, uh, going on to the next phase. Learning the game. Okay, ship phase. Take turns attacking with and moving each of their ships. Okay. So, ship phase. The player, uh, during this phase... Players take turns activating. The ship, the player who has initiative, that's me, chooses one of their ships and activates it by performing the following steps in order. Reveal its command dial. Okay, I'll reveal my, um, let's see, my Carillion Corvette. <laughs> let's get this on my side. All 
Okay, so the Carillion Corvette dial has uh, squadron locked in. Okay. And then attack and then execute maneuver. Um, reveal command dial. During the stat player reveals the top command dial on their chosen ship stack of command dials and places it face up next to the plastic ship. If the player wants to resolve the revealed command for its full effect this round, they can spend the dial at the appropriate time to do so. If the player wants to reserve it for a later round, they immediately spend the dial, placing it face up on the ship's card, placing it face up on the ship's card, then place the matching command token. Yeah. So that's how you do it. You bank it. Um, so you'll probably want to give me maybe two of each. I'll give you three of each. Three of those. If the player wants to resolve the reveal command for its full effect this round, they can spend the dial at the appropriate time. So I do. I want to do squadron. After this icon is revealed, the ship may spend its command dial to activate a number of friendly squadrons up to its squadron value. It can only activate squadrons that are at close medium range. Each squadron activated can attack and move in either order. So, medium range. So I guess that's sh short and that's medium. Okay. Okay, so... So, I'm going to activate, I guess, these uh, Y-Wings. Oh, no. Yeah, I'll activate the A-Wings. So then, when I'm activating the A-Wing, then I can move the A-Wing squadron. Speed 5. Ooh, that thing is fast. Okay. So that was revealing the dial, spending the dial. But then when do you actually do the thing? Then it's attack. Well, obviously nothing is in range. Or wait, is that the movement? Or is this the movement? No, that's the movement for the big ships. That's the movement for the fighters. Right. Okay. Um, yeah, just out of range. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, thank you. I want to stay out of range of your guns. Yeah. Uh, attack. Well, nothing's attacking. Then execute maneuver. During this step, the ship must execute a maneuver. The player uses a maneuver two to determine precise position the ship will move to. The distance corresponds to the current speed. All right. And so the way you do this, is it the front or is it the back? I think it's the back. Right? Yeah, I think it's the back. No, it's the front. Is it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. the front has the two. Yeah, but... Oh, you got and it then, backwards? And then once you... You have it back, that the thing backwards? I don't know. No, you're good. You're good. I guess. Oh, no. The you do have it backwards. The player presses the maneuver tool against the table. The, the player picks up the ship, then... Those, okay, those so two should be in the front, the two, like, little post. Okay. So, if that should be there. Yeah. And then what Corvette am I? Corvette A. And I'm assuming the name is in the back of the ship. Yes. Facing the player. Yep, and I got this one backwards. Okay, yeah. So now that I do that, it fits in that little slot. Right. But is it the front of it or the rear of it? I think it's the rear. No, it's the front. Because it's that slot. No. You want that slot. Do you clip here or do you clip here? It goes, so it would go just like, like... Like so. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, so it'd it's be like that. It goes all the way to the back of the peg. So where it's grabbing. My eyes ain't going to be able to see that. You, look at mine. you got better eyes than me. So you, you, can you see it does that, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. It's not this. Right, 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 right. Okay. Yeah. 
Oh shit! Did we hit the camera? Yeah. What? Oh, that's I think that's Is that mine? yours. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Thank you, Incubus. Hello, Twisty Jeffrey. I'm executing a maneuver. Now I determine course. I'm just going to go straight ahead, I guess, and then move ship. So move ship. Um, I need to look at my speed dial. My speed dial says uh, two, and that means I can go one slash two slash. So that means you can click it over one, one notch. So one notch on the first rung, right? Two notches on the second rung, right? To try to do some if you maneuvering. Wanted to do, yeah, if okay. you wanted to do some maneuvering. Yeah, maybe. So one, two. Yep. Wunderbar. All right, well, I think that's it for that one. So I moved the ship. I determined the course. Now you got to go with one of yours. Okay, so I'll go with the, the inter-director. Inter interdictor. Yep, interdirectors. The interdictor is going to do a the what is that? The squadron. So we'll send up the TIE fighters first. The TIE fighters move at four. Now I I don't know, but can how do they can they just go anywhere? They don't have to follow a line, right? Yeah, they don't have to follow a line. They can go anywhere. So I'm going to go after you right there. Meet you. Meet you halfway. Well, they can move and attack. So yeah. I think that you would now attack one of the fighters. And I'm not in close range, but I'm in second or medium range, I guess. Or no, actually, I did that wrong. Yeah, I'm still in medium range. All right, so. After you move. Oh, do your, your, um, I guess your TIE fighters or your squadrons get the defense tokens too? No. Has it at the bottom? Like those ones? Like your named ones? Oh, uh, yeah. I guess they do. Gonna get a two, four, six circle explosions. Kazar. As Kazar. As Kazar is a lot of badasses. What the hell? <laughs> That's too many badasses. I think they're playing twice. 
Already? That's definitely playing twice. You broke it. <laughs> Is it? It's just. It's put, completely broken. Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah, what the hell? I've never had this happen, ever. Has Kazar. Let me see if I can. How do I stop? You, what? Stop the overlay. Stop the what? The overlay? Turn it off right there. Where is it? I don't, I don't have it. It's not on here. It's not, huh? My overlay is not on. Where is it happening? There it is. Yeah. There you go. That stopped it. What? That's crazy. But if you... Yeah. Wait, it's starting again. What the hell? <laughs> I knew it was coming. Is it playing? Is it just playing at once from all of those different sources? I wonder if it is. Um. Nobody subscribe ever again. <laughs> that gave me a headache. Oh my gosh! I think I got it. So just maybe put it on one. But it shouldn't have played that because we were on a different screen. Right. If I'm on a different screen, then it shouldn't have played. That's crazy. So I don't know what was that what that was all about i'll turn one of them on the main yeah, screen the main we'll screen. leave it on the main screen and we'll see what's going on but that's a two-year subscription has has are you here has yeah well c clearly you're here otherwise you wouldn't have been able to subscribe uh -oh. I'm liking this. <laughs> let's see how yeah. many times this plays all right. Just the once. All right. So See, I guess what it, it was doing. playing every yeah. single one. That's weird. Yeah. So thank you, Black Black Gamer 64 for nice. half a year. Thank you. That was funny shit he said. <laughs> okay. Right. Which ship are you activating? All right. So I activated the TIE Fighters. No, that's, well, no, that's not how that works. First, you choose a ship. Well, yeah. This, and then that you was revealed the, the dial. is... You know, actually, magnetic. Ah, a Coppola. A Coppola 94. Why is that notification so loud? i got to figure out how to reduce those notifications in our headset. Okay, but a Coppola 94, thank you for nine months and, and also gifting a sub out. Nice. Now, you. when you revealed the dial, was it the squadron? Yes. Okay. And then, then with that, you're spending that immediately to right. move the squadron. And then fire, okay. fire then, correct? Is that then correct? the squadron came forward and is now going to open up on my... Right. I need to know what these things on these cards mean. Those TIE fighters are going to shoot at the... A-wings. Uh, A-wings. Okay, and then over here, if I reduce the volume of the notifications and then Squadron reduce the attendance. overall volume of our desktop and then reduce the volume here and then raise the volume here. Oh, uh, okay. So there's there's two. That should help with that. There's two icons on the top that indicate one's for firing at uh, squadrons and the other one's for firing at ships. Okay. So the one, the blue. Blue. Blue is for ships. For, sh ship. for squadron. Ship to ship. Squadron to squadron. Yeah. And then the, the red one is for squadron, squadron to, to ship. ship. So I would roll, in this case, I would roll four blue dice. Okay. And it looks like one, two, three hits and one critical. God damn. So four hits. After a quad, uh, so I've got counter two. Okay, hold on. See, so 
that. So that's playing even when that's not up on the screen. Shut down source when not visible. Maybe I'll do that. Here, let me try that again. Fatality. There we go. Okay, I think that works. Now, if I move oh, wait. this, that still plays. I might have to be closer to even to... Um, Using the distance side of the range ruler, the squadron yeah. to use all the colors. So this is the squadron distance. I, I'm not oh, wow. both out of range. Okay. Yeah. Squadrons are uh, you get up real Which tight. Which makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Makes sense. Like dog fighting. Okay. Uh, so we don't have the Tie Fighter vs. A Wing yet. Not yet. We will soon. And then, uh, okay, so that was the. F First one, do we we go through the whole stack, or is it just the one, one uh, order on that stack? So you just no, you just put one dial down. Yeah. And so now that your dial is used, then you put the dial face up on the card for some reason, and then I think these stacks are going to somehow factor in here. Some. Yeah, um, because then, yeah, because you have more. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Okay, so now you would go with your ship, and your ship would then um, do its turn, and its turn is reveal command out, attack, nothing's in range of your me your interdictor, then execute a maneuver, which you determine your course with the r range ruler, and then you move the ship, and then that's it. Okay, so you still always move, you're still always moving. Even though you didn't uh, put a maneuver. The yeah, well, you're moving your speed. A, yeah, okay. So if you want to increase or decrease your speed, then you would do Then you would stop moving. All right, so if I'm going to, I can click twice. Let's go once. And actually, if I'm turning on the outside, I put it on this side. Yeah. So you got one click on, on yep. track one. Uh, one click on track one, and then I'll go the one, and then the two. Oops. Shit. Okay, the interdictor making a maneuver here. Now he moved. Yep. He can fire because he has longer range. Correct. Yeah, I think so. So if I try to fire at the A wings, it's going to be at two, right? Well, you got to push yeah, it to there. Yeah. It, he's just out. Okay, just out. So three. So I can only use red dice in that so. case. Yeah. So, so you're I, at long range. I would use the two red dice that I I have for that guy. Is there something different for attacking fighters? Is the red dice firing at attacking squadrons with a ship? When a ship attacks a squadron, it can perform one attack against each squadron inside the firing arc and at attack range of the attacking hull zone. Each attack is resolved separately. So I guess if I had three fighters in your front arc, you could do one against each. Okay. Um, but... Uh, when a ship attacks a squadron, it could perform one attack against each squadron. Okay, but you got to go use your anti-squadron attack dice. So that's a different value. Oh, so yeah, it's yeah. the It's a black and fire. a blue. So they, yeah. I can't, yeah, I can't. Uh, yeah, you can't fire at that distance. Fire. Yep. Cool. Cool. Understood. Yeah, so that big boy tried to fire, fire at me. Those A-wings kind of maneuvered out of the way. 
I mean, we're probably receiving fire. It's just we're dodging them all. Okay, uh, I guess back to me then. Uh, let's do, I've got either my Nebulon B or my Mon, my uh, Mon Calamari MC-80 Battle Cruiser. Battle Cruiser Operational. Battle Cruiser Operational. Mm, no. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay. Well, uh, I guess take the uh, Nebulon B. It is a squadron, so we're going to activate a squadron. Um, it can activate up to two squadrons, so I'll activate these two. Oh. How is that? Where do you? Because I guess I could have activated my other squadron. Okay, yeah. Why don't we back up a little bit and How activate your other squadron? Yeah. So when you activate a squadron, you look at your squadron value. Okay, so it says two. It can activate uh, only squadrons that are close and medium range. Each squadron activated in this way can attack and move. Yeah. So he has two, then he yeah. can activate that guy back behind there. And his is a four. Two. Be somewhere right there. All right. All right. No harm, no foul. Continue. Oh. All right, uh, Nebulon B uh, activates two squadrons. So the X-Wings uh, are flying at a speed of trace. So. Oh, X-Wings are slower. A-Wings are fucking fast. Yeah, five. Yeah, five. Five sprint. Really good. Oh, uh, well, that's two. Here's three. Mm. And then the B-Wings, uh, even slower at two. Wow. All right. So I think there's something like when, once we move our squadrons and we flip over. Oh, yeah, and you're supposed to. Push that to the red. Thing, I think, right? That they're activated. All right, and then we'll get the Met Nebulon B to go in. He speed two. You can only go one click each. And, um, what's oh, this way? Give me a click. Move there, and then move there. Not in range of anything. Well, firing first, then move. So that has been completed. We're good. I think he can fight. Do you have to? Do you Fire first? I, I think yes. you can move, then fire. Nope. No? Squadrons can, but not ships. Ships have to fire. fire first. Ships attack and then execute okay. their maneuver. Cool, cool. All right, your turn. All right, so. Uh, we'll catch. Up. Yeah, do you. I didn't put in any player names. I'm just testing this cool little uh, Star Wars themed overlay. 
So I'm doing a squadron with uh, my victory class, Star Destroyer. Yeah, and I can activate how many squadrons? Three. Oh my gosh. Scary. So I'm thinking that is that just how many it could activate? We could potentially have more squadrons out, right? It's a good question. You know? Um, yeah, I, I, we'll think about that in the future. Yeah. But we did do 300 300. Yeah. So we got, we're at a 300 point yeah. thing. So those TIE Fighters move at a 4, 4, and 5. So Interceptors move at a 5. And the Z Bombers. So these are have all activated. Nobody's in range. So looking cool, looking cool. I like the way the board looks. Guys, if you like this mat, this nebula mat, this is frontline gaming. Yeah. I highly recommend their mats. This is the nebula version. It's something different than just straight up stars. Right. And I like that. Because you don't want to do stars every single time. So we've We've encountered each other in a nebula. So I'm moving to, I'm just going straight. Yeah. One, two. Now, and I believe I'm out of range of everything. So, oh, whoa. Yeah, still out of range. Okay. Because it's only black and blue at, or actually for that one, it's only blue. Mm -hmm. Blue dice. So you have to be close to me for to me to shoot off squadrons. All right. So your go, I believe. Okay. My final go uh, with my final ship is going to be my Mon Calamari. Uh, right back here. And revealing his dial, he activates two squadrons. Okay. So... And then move. Speed two. He's only allowed one click. Uh, he won't take one click. He'll just go two. Two like that. Oop. Yeah. Okay. And... Um, since he fires first, there's no firing. Um, good to go. Okay, so I think that's the end of a turn. Oh, well, let's see well, the rest of the phases. We still have uh, uh, orders. What are you talking about? We still have unissued orders. Do we continue with those? I'm not sure what you're talking about. Because these... You reveal your dial when you right. move your ship. But we have multiple dials on each ship. So, like, this one has two, this one has three. Oh, was I supposed to program them in all at once? Yeah, and then you go. Are in you the, sure? Go in order. Yeah. Okay, let me go back because I. I but know I'm not that. sure on if you do them all at that one turn or if you just do one and then. It says during this phase, players secretly and simultaneously use their command dials to choose commands for each of their ship. Tronza, we will be playing the uh, Middle Earth. Uh, strategy game yeah in the future so stay tuned yeah i've got like five six armies for that and i haven't even played it once i went a little crazy there <laughs> um see it says since command dials are placed face down each player can secretly plan their strategy and keep their commands hidden um during the command must first assign command dials to their ship so that each ship has a number of command dials equal to its command value right yeah i didn't know that okay well then let me 
let me plug in. So this ship has one more command dial. And I guess do squadrons not activate without? Oh, squadrons do activate, but you get to like activate them early when you're doing the squadrons. Because now it's phase three. Like, let's say we have all of our dials already set. Yeah. Now it's phase three, and during phase three, it's squadron phase. After uh -huh. all ships have been activated, players resolve the squadron phase. During this phase, players activate any squadrons that were not activated by the squadron command dial during the previous phase. So it's like trying trying to get the jump. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then after the squadrons go, but all of our squadrons have moved, so. And then after the squadrons is the status phase. Players ready all of their defense tokens and flip over the initiative token. So I guess that would mean that you would go first next time, maybe? Yeah, I think so. So the initiative uh. would go red. Um, but... Let me finish uh, plugging in this. Mm. One dial per turn, but you program in back on top and then take from the top each turn. So you have to plan a few turns in advance with the finish. Back on bottom, yeah, because you couldn't Yeah. You yeah. couldn't do it back on top. Okay, that makes sense. So you already have like stuff pro plugged into your ship, so the next turn I have to take that regardless of what you know. Like okay, if that makes you sense. Had messed yeah. it up yep. or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, done. So now, uh, before we go on, I want to, you know, do testing for, you know, battle reports and things like that. Um, so I want to try some things out. So give me a second. Okay, and then is my phone charging? That's so silly. IBA IBR squad. IBR squad. Twenty five months, more than two years of support. Nice. Fatality again with the the biddies earlier. I, I don't know if I called you out. If you're still here, fatality. But I'm gonna run downstairs. I'm gonna get my selfie 
uh, stick because uh -oh. I want to see if I can kind of record. I was thinking about turn summaries in between turns in that style yeah. and then seeing and editing what it feels like just put together mm -hmm. one right after the other and then just for moments of die rolling and epic moments, then you would take the the three hour stream and you would find that moment and then you would fade it in. So I'm curious. I just want to experiment because I like editing and shit. Put it on the uh, intermission one. Yeah. And in fact, we need to make sure the intermission has a um, has one of has the subscription and I'll test it. What is it? It's Twitch. Oh, it's Twitch. Wait. Is it? Okay, yeah. So what is this one? I'll just kill that one. I don't know. Oh, that's the chat. Okay. So the Twitch would go right here. And then, see, let me do the last two ones, which was Fatality... There you go. And I B R squad. Thank y'all guys. Be right back. Okay, so I think I'll use the overhead camera there and then use this camera here. Okay, welcome to a battle already in progress. Angry Joe's rebels have had absolutely enough of the Empire and have jumped into a nebula catching an Imperial contingent off guard. Now... We finally are bringing one of our heavy hitters. I'm so sick and tired of having these tiny little ships like a Nebulon and a Karelian Corvette to try to take on these damn Star Destroyers. So we got some intelligence. The, um, what's it called? The Mon Karen. Let me see your manager. The Mon Karen here. <laughs> it, I'm not joking. It's literally Mon Karen. It has uh, got intel that it can ambush a victory now i have no idea whether a mon calamari battle cruiser mc80 can take a victory what is it a victory one victory two a victory two head on head but one thing that our intel was bad on 
this bad boy. Uh, we were surprised to learn that an interdictor uh, had showed up exchanging crew with the victory. So that is not going according to plan. So this is at the end of turn one. We've made slow maneuvers forward. They've made slow maneuvers there. They've launched all fighters. They're heading towards us. My fighters are a little bit more conservative here towards the back. And the uh, clash is about to begin. Let's see if the Rebels can score their first major punch and see how a Mon Calamari cruiser performs. Ow. <laughs> cool. Okay. So I'm kind of like blending the two styles, you know, that you see in yeah. battle reports. Yeah. It's like... Oh. Okay. So, uh, beginning of turn two, uh, the token will flip over from my side to uh, Jay's side. And I assume. Well, we we. Oh no, that's not what the, that is. Yeah, we it, it just the, goes. It just goes to red, meaning all the red ones are are now uh, what's active. Yeah. Now whether I still go or you still go is not. Well, also clear. we didn't do the the squadron phase or the status phase, did we? No, we did the squadron phase, and the reason why nothing happened in the squadron phase is because we already moved all of our squadrons early. Oh, okay. And then the status phase, none of us had any damage or anything uh, flipped over okay. from defenses to for it to matter. But do, do okay. So then back back to the yeah. what was it command phase? Right? So now we go back to the command phase. During this phase, all players secretly and simultaneously use their command dials to choose which commands. So say for example, my uh, Karelian uh, Corvette no longer has a dial yeah. programmed in. So I guess that's when I would program in a dial. Our, and we program in the ones that we have on our, our sheets, right? And then put them back under the, the stack. On Hang the bottom on. of the stack. Hang on. So how does it interact? Okay, yeah. So we, we take the ones that are on our sheet, and then you put it under? On the, uh, on the bottom of our stack. Right. Yeah. Okay. Because, yeah, because we're forced to execute those. Yeah. All right. So you have to plan ahead. So it's right. like, okay, so th what is this, th three turns ahead? Yeah, it's going to be three turns ahead if you so have a stack of like, three. Like, what would I do in three turns? I guess, like, I'll... I'll flip it to like a, a repair in anticipation that maybe I would have received some damage by then. Good move. Good move. And with this one over And then here. if we had any of these defense tokens flipped over, we flip them back over. Um, and I think that... Right. That was at the status at, phase. At the status phase, yeah. Okay. So now we are programmed in. And uh, we go on to uh, ship phase. Fa player starts with a player who has initiative. Yeah, but then I need to go over back to the initiative uh, section and see. So initiative never changes. I, s I still have initiative. Is that correct? Why did they do it like that? That's I would prefer it going back and forth. Or at least have a randomize. Why randomize? And I'd like I'd like the color and icon of the initiative. Players are ready. Then the player with the initiative flips the initiative token over. At the end of the phase, the player with the initiative places the round token with the highest number to the side of the play area. The number displayed on the token indicates the round number for the next round. Then we begin a new round. Well, I guess I'll just keep that in memory. Um, Here's the; these are the round tokens. Okay. Well, just get rid so of one, I guess. Yeah. Put it back in the box. Yep. Interesting. I'll have to ask some veteran people of this game why they why they don't change initiative. Okay. Well. All right. So then. Uh, I would reveal I have initiative. So when I have initiative, can I force you to go, or am like I'm forced to go? You, yeah, it sounds like it. That's weird that it wouldn't change. Right. Why even have an initiative token? Well, the initiative token is flippable, so that you're reminded that all of the red uh, fighter things are, are yeah. what's going on. I mean, that, I like that. That's cool, but 
you could still push it back and forth. Uh, let's activate my Karelian Corvette here. And it is a squadron. So we will activate a squadron within close to medium range. I guess let's try the A-Wing. Maybe I should do the B, the Y wing. Let me do the Y wings because he's got a special ability. This is Dutch Vander. Dutch Vander. If I can hit you with it, then like it'll knock out your activation. You'll mm. be activated. When a squadron you attack suffers at least one damage. All right, so that's what we're gonna do. All right, Dutch. Uh, attack orders. Go ahead. I'm going to get these Y-Wings versus those uh, cooler-looking ones. What are those? Intercept? No, those, those are, are advanced. Uh, no, those are... Defenders. Phantoms. 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 Phantoms sound dangerous. So let's see if I can get even, if I can even get close enough. I might not even have range. So we can go three. And then... What is the range? Range is one. On on that. On what? This on this side. Yep. So that that's range. This is range one. Yep. No. But this is a squadron range one. Yeah, that's squadron range one. Okay. Yeah. yeah you got it. Okay. All right. So Y wings have three blue dice. All right. When you attack, uh, when you when a squadron you attack suffers at least one damage, you can toggle its activation slider to activate it. All right. So I need to damage it at least once. Come on, Dutch. Get those Tie Fighters. Okay. I got a critical one hit and a target symbol. All right. Well, we got to consult the rule book. Yeah. Um. I don't know what the results. Okay, there it is. So accuracy is what that's called. For each accuracy icon rolled, the attacker chooses one of the defender's defense tokens. The chosen token cannot be used during this attack. Do those tied defender to those yeah. tie? Yeah, the phantoms have two defense tokens. All right, what are the two defense tokens? Um, I'm not sure what those are. Well, I'm gonna, are they the same? No, they're two different they're ones. They're two different ones? Well, I'm definitely going to choose one okay, to turn here off. Here they are. Scatter, so the defender cancels cancels all attack dice. Well, obviously, I'll turn that one off. Okay, so turn that What's one What's the off. other one? The other one is brace. After a damage is uh, totaled, the defender reduces the damage to half, rounding up. Okay, well, luckily, I hit you twice. So I got a hit and then a critical. For each critical icon rolled, if the attacker and defender are both ships, the defender suffers one damage and the first damage card is dealt face up. I guess it has no effect if it's a squadron. So basically, two damage to your defenders. And uh, if you choose to flip the token that says reduce the damage, yeah. then you can reduce it to down to one damage right. instead of two. Well, I get... Don't... I thought I'd get defense dice. Or is that just uh, no, you big just, ships? No, you just take the hit. This is just shooting. Okay. Let me look. Squadron defense. Attacking a squadron follows the same rules. When attacking a squadron, use it. Uh-huh. 
When a squadron suffers damage, the player reduces its remaining hold points to the damage amount. Yeah, I don't ever see where the squadron will roll dice to okay. defend itself. Yep, yep. Sounds good. Uh, but I will use that t to take half. So it goes down to one. So it only clicks down by one. You got four health, so now you're at three health. Yep. But your, since I did take damage, he does uh, cons be considered activated, right? Me? No, me. Yeah. So, like, I, that's right. Yeah, so I made it even worse for you. Yeah. That guy can't do anything on that one. That was Dutch's special ability. Yeah. But um, on that, after after defending against an attack, if you spend a defense token, you may move up to distance one, even if you are engaged. So that's that's what I was looking for too. Uh, the that keyword engaged mm -hmm. anything within that one uh, that one ban. Uh, as far as uh, squadrons are concerned, is called and considered engaged. Okay. But if you can tell me about the defense tokens. Yeah. Because don't you, you both of your defense tokens are now on its red side. Right. I used one. So my special goes through, meaning I just get to move a distance of one. Oh, anytime you use one for its normal effect of whatever yeah. it's called? Right. Okay. Because he's a special special character dude and, but it, and what it, was the ability just movement yeah it's just movement okay and actually I, i'll probably just move back guys there's no retreat no sense in me getting killed this hard fighter cowards yeah okay uh i guess we'll go with the i, li I, I like that i like that that's pretty that's yeah pretty it's cool straight yeah. up and we've got the Carillion Corvette to finish off its maneuver. So, first things first is it's, it, it attacks, but there's nothing really in range. I mean, unless there's red fighters. Nope. What? Red, what is it? Yeah, so the, yeah, the it's white. Yeah, blue. No, yeah, it's so I have blue, to get yeah. into that kind of range beforehand. Okay, so we're going to go... Um, up one, and then do a, a click right here. One click. Can I have two? Yeah, I can have two. If your movement's two, yeah. Look what it. That is annoying. Yeah. And two. All right. And uh, attack phase is already done, so he can't attack. And that's it for him. Okay, so let's go with. Uh, and since this guy activated, he goes over to blue. blue. Yeah, cool. So flip that over to blue then. No, we're on red is what's being activated right yeah, now. Yeah, okay, okay. I got you, man. Uh, maneuver. So on this maneuver, what can I do? I can't. It is tedious when you learn the game, yeah, uh, Lycan, but once you've learned it, like there's none of this talking back and forth. It's just Navigate, I'm, doing, I'm shooting you, you're shooting me. And then it goes really fast. And then you're having fun. But see, it says there a learning session because we, I haven't played this in years. And this is my first time, so. Okay, when a ship is, is determining course of movement, it may spend its stick command dial to increase or decrease the speed by one. So I will do that. I'll decrease speed, my speed by one. And in fact, once we, we finish this, I think we should run it again. Yeah. Immediately, maybe grab some grub. Chet, did you grab some grub? What are you eating, Chet? You got any grub? Can you share some? What you munching on? Okay. All right. So. Uh, I can't fire at anything, can I? 
are you with it? People? Centipede. Man, look how close that is. <laughs> uh, what about is that where we measure from, or is there like a little dot? You see the yellow, yellow dot? Is that where we measure from? Uh, I think it's just the base. What is that yellow dot, then? Uh, Let's look. I can hit the Carillion. Okay. The Corvette. Yeah. With red. Reds. On that side, so two red on that side, yeah. Yeah. Alright, so... Okay, so a bunch of turbo lasers coming from the two port crits. side. Oof, two crits on the Carillion. Okay, let's see how to resolve against ship versus ship attacks. Yeah. So, my Carillion Corvette, oh, I don't know what I should be looking for. Okay, uh, attacking. So once you do your targeting, mm -hmm. once you roll the dice, for each critical icon rolled, if the attacker and defender are both ships, the defender suffers one damage, and the first damage card dealt is dealt fa face up. The first damage card, but that's. We're not we're not there yet because I don't think my shields are down. Uh, um, so first we do defense tokens. Each ship has a number of defense tokens that can be used when defending against attack to mitigate the damage. After the attack dice are rolled and the attacker spends their accuracy, the defender can spend one or more of their defense tokens. Um, when the defender spends a ready defense token, they flip it to their exhausted side. Okay. How? Do, okay. And then how do you do the shields? Oh, got it. Yeah. So the shields. So you see all these circles? We never set them. I set these ones. Yeah. Oh, I didn't set mine. Okay. So I'm gonna set all my circles because you've hit my shields. This should be two. And that's two. And the shields back here are one. And that shields two. And then cruiser five two all around. What's your shields uh, on your ships? Are you two all around? Um, threes and twos, yeah. And then the escort frigate, threes. Three in the front, two. Okay. All right, so... Well, first, I'm going to try to jiggle my way out because I've got these three... This is the one aspect of the game that I, I think I didn't like because these tokens, you know, kind of slow things down. So it's like I got two wiggles and I got one redirect. So the wiggles, if the attack occurs at long range, which it did, yep. the defender chooses and cancels one attack die. Okay. The at medium or close range distance one, the defender chooses one attack die to be re-rolled. If the attacker is of larger class and the defender, the defender can and affect one additional die, but must discard that token if they do so. So I can actually, because I'm at long range, I can evade it. So right. because I'm so, oh, that's really cool. Yeah. Okay. So while I, I think it kind of slows things down, it does allow the game to simulate some interesting things. But you would think you could just write that on the card without having to, you know, flip tokens and stuff, but we'll see. Okay. So I'm flipping two to just say no. Cancel both. I'm, I'm I'm dodging it. Uh, when the defender spends a ready defense token, they flip it over to its exhausted side. When the defender spends an exhausted defense token, they discard the token, returning it to the supply. So you can spend a an exhausted one, but you lose it for the rest of the game. Oh well. Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. Go ahead and then pre perform the maneuver with the interdictor. Well. After you shot. Hold on. One. Okay. I, I thought I saw somewhere where you you can you attack twice. No. No. Yeah. No. I'm. I'm. I. From playing the game a while ago, there's no. You don't want to attack twice with the ship. Maybe I was looking at something else. Okay. 
All right. Anyway, so he will move his one. Yeah, Leo Gan, squadrons don't crit. Yeah, we know that. But that was the interdictor ship shooting at me, not a squadron. Let's put it on this way. You know, what might be helpful is like if they make come some counters where you're gonna like kind of yeah, like you know, push them put a counter way. out of them. So I'm just move the one right there. Well, you're at speed two. I'm at speed one because my maneuver. I went. I reduced it. Oh, the dial that you revealed was a uh, maneuver. Cool. Yeah. Look at that, Pilot J. Okie dokie. All right, then I guess I shall go next. And um. Yeah, because you had a um, what? What you? What was your order on that guy, the Corvette? Uh, squadron. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Interesting. All right. Well, I guess it's time. Let's let's hit. Let's see how hard. This is what I did the whole thing for. Let's see <laughs> how hard a Carillion Corvette can hit something. So let's uh, go ahead and. Use it against the interdictor. So we got. Well, first we reveal our token, which is concentrate firepower. And I don't know what concentrate firepower does. Jay, can you tell me? Concentrate firepower. You get to roll one extra dice. So after a ship rolls uh, dice during an attack, it may spend a its concentrate firepower command dial. To roll one additional attack dice, that die must be of a color that has already been rolled. All right. Well, what are the best dice? I um, guess red. So, what's black. the? I guess it's probably the blue. Black is the weakest. The red is the best. Blue. Give me another red. Or black. All right. So, firing everything into your uh, interdictor. And let's see if there's any cards that can help me. While attacking, you may exhaust this card to reroll all dice in your attack pool. So I've got veteran gunners on mm -hmm. this that'll help out. Uh, but first, let's see if we get a good roll. We're attacking a ship there. Okay. Okay. It seems pretty damn good. These are a lot of fucking hits. Yeah. We only missed one. So, And veteran gunner says... Reroll all dice in the attack pool, so I don't think I can just select one. So I'm going to keep that uh, result. Um, and then now Jay is going to choose all of his defensive uh, uh, tokens. Yeah. How many defense tokens does that thing have? It has four. Wow. So how many total did you have? Well, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight total hits because of the okay. double over here. How many? How many uh, crits? Uh, one crit. Okay, so I'll use. First, I'll use the. The. Contain, which prevents the crit. Okay, but just to give you some information, I'm my ship is a Karen, so you are only going to be able to use one defense token. So. Make sure that the one defense token that you use. While attacking a ship, the defender cannot spend more than one defense token. Mm -hmm. So make sure that that's the one that you want to use. Uh, in that case, I will use the um, brace. Okay. What does brace do? Reduces it to half, rounding up. All of the damage? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's much better. Yeah. So I will take these cards and... I'll get one, two. How many? You no, said no, four? no. Eight? I have not penetrated your shields yet. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. That's so right. I did eight damage. I'm. Let's read the brace effect so that we know brace. off After the damage is total, the defender reduces the total to half, rounded up. So four damage. Four damage. So what are your front shield value? I've got uh, three shields. 
three shield. No, it says two, but it's three. Oh, yeah, it's three. three. Yeah. Okay. So all of your shields go down to zero, yeah. and you take one hit, and that's when you would take the card. But because it's not a critical, or wait, there is a critical. Well, I could take the critical on a shield, right? Good question. That, let, me, let me see. Yeah. Critical effect. Before hmm. the defender determines the total damage amount from an attack, the attacker can resolve a critical effect. So before, uh, if they have rolled at least one critical. When the attacker resolves a critical effect, the first damage card that the defender receives is dealt face up. So no, I don't think it works like that. It's because it says the first uh, damage okay. card. That well, the, yeah, and it would only be the one. So that's... Yeah. Uh, compartment fire. You cannot ready your defense tokens. Okay. Oof. Okay. Well, yeah. do you have another brace token, or did I just remove the ability to brace in the future? I just have that one. Okay. So I knocked your ability to brace out. Yeah, until I repair it next to you repair. At the end of the turn. Angry Viking Eyes, thank you. Hey, Joe, hope you're having a great day. Thanks for last year and love your content. Well, thank you for watching. Thank you for going a, one step further and subscribing for that many years. That's years, Angry yep. Vikings. That's I really nice. appreciate that. So I got Angry Joe and I got Angry Vikings up on the in the army. Okay, so now we understand how that works and... Uh, but maybe you can look and double check uh -huh. just to what? make sure that, like, the shield stuff. Ship damage. Whenever a ship suffers damage, it suffers each point of damage separately. The player reduces the shields in their defending hull zone by one. Uh, if that player does not have any shields remaining, they instead draw one card. Yeah, and Based so down. as long as you yeah. roll the critical effect, that, that damage card that is going to be drawn, when it's drawn, is drawn face yeah, okay. up, unless you have that cool effect. Which now, if it would have been, say you had six six hits mm -hmm. and one critical, mm -hmm. the shield would have soaked it up then, because I wouldn't, I wouldn't get to the card yet. You know? Yeah. Just like you did. Okay, well, now yeah, that okay. he's shot, now he's got to move, and we'll do, um, uh, let's see. Just we'll go forward two, one. Maybe we should turn. Let's go back one and let's click over by one. In that case, put it on that outside. So when you go to oh, okay. your left, you want to put it on the left side. When you go to your right, you want to put it on your right side. I see. Mm -hmm. So that would put me, yeah. All right. Well, that turn is done. Cool. Alrighty. So it went, went. Uh, this guy right here will squadrons. Now I understand. Yeah, and I wouldn't have done that. Get uh, to go first. Yeah, but all right. So, what is the range for? This is medium, right? Oh, it's medium. First one. activating squadrons. Yeah. Yeah, so they're good. Um, let's go with the interceptors first. Oops, wrong side. Interceptors move five. So we'll just go up mm -hmm. there and shoot ya. All right, interceptors engaged with the X wings. All right. Okay. 
What do you got? On uh, I'm blue. looking at the the, little, the card. So swarm. Okay, so uh, looks like four blue dice. Four blue dice. Yeah, four blue dice. Here we go. So shit. Ah, damn, that's a good roll. Three crits and oh, what that? What what's that? Squadrons don't crit. Yeah. So three hits. Okay. Um. What does that want? Accuracy. Yeah. For each accuracy icon roll, the attacker chooses one of the defenders defense tokens mm -hmm. uh, chosen to it cannot be used i have two of the same defense tokens so it's not gonna matter yeah so flip one over then just flip no one. you don't right? you don't flip my token you just say that For i each. can't use it flipping a token chosen. means i'm spending it you're not spending my token a chosen token cannot be used during this attack okay yeah oh squadrons do not use crits at all so it's zero hits on a critical. So what you really got is zero hit. If Thank you, Leo Gan. That's what you were talking about before. Both. What's for dinner? I don't know. We're about to eat. I asked y'all earlier what y'all were eating. You tell me. Blue milk? Where does it say that? Oh, okay. Yeah, right. I, I, in the I rule see book. Yeah, squadrons can use all color dice. Uh, oh, they ignore critical yeah, icons. But they, yep, ignore it. Oh, that sucks. Icons. I thought it was. I mean, that doesn't suck. That was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Chicken and dumplings. Mmm. Samurai so Queen. Now one? I'm going to go to uh, Dairy Queen because I can get chicken and dumplings at Dairy Queen. All right. So there's that one. Let me see. Let's go with the TIE Fighter Squadron. We're going up. Moving up four. Mm -hmm. They'll be right in there. They'll go after them, too. Oh, shit. More TIEs incoming. Wedge, wedge, dodge, dodge. Okay, so they have three blue. Yep. And because of their special swarm, I can reroll one, one dice. Because you're engaged with another squadron. That's right. So, one hit and turns off two. Mm -hmm. Are you two going? defense tokens? Right. Yeah. Yeah. So take one hit. One hit. Well, Gentilly's. We got pegged a little bit down right. from five health to four health. And then I go on with the bombers. Mm, bombers. Bombers are a little slower. Trying to get. Can you move them over there? Four, up to four. Wait, I thought bombers are slow. They're four. Wow. Okay. Is Tie fighter bombers. Is he within one of that? One? Mm, I, I don't know. Yeah. Yep. All right, so he's going to attack the ship. All righty, bombers One. are firing at the Nebulion, Nebulon B. So you use the red value with one black dice? Yep. Okay. So that's a hit and a crit, but the crit... Um, is so, no. Nope. So, while attacking a ship, each of your crit icons adds one damage to the damage total. You can resolve, uh, and you can resolve the crit critical effect. So, basically, it's two damage with one, one crit. Two damage with a critical effect, yes. meaning the damage card yeah, if is it still would. face up. Yeah, if it was to go through. <clears throat> okay, so, in that case, let's see... Um, my Nebulon B has an evade. Uh, what does an evade at that range do? At medium or close range and distance one, the defender chooses one attack die to be re-rolled. I'm going to force you to re-roll that. 
Which one? The. Yeah. Okay. Oh, good job. All right. And then I flip this over. Here's what I did. The Nebulon B has these. And I flip that one over, forcing him to re-roll. I could have straight ignored it, but that's only a long range. At close and medium, it forces a re-roll. Okay, cool. Well, finish off the turn with the oh, ship. Oh, yeah, the ship. The ship, the ship, the ship. So I'll shoot first, right? Right? Yeah. All right, so we'll shoot first at you. We'll give you some love back. Looks like only red, red dice. Yep. So red is two reds from, no, three reds from that. I'm not lagging, Twisty. Hopefully you're not lagging. Oh, well, okay. Here we go. So one crit, one hit, but once per activation, when a friendly ship is attacking, it may spend one die to change a, to change a face. What? When a friendly ship is attacking? Yeah. That means somebody else besides him? Once per die. Once per activation, when a friendly ship is attacking, it may spend one die to change a die to a face with an, uh, is that one? Face, uh, critical icon. So if I, I guess if I had a, like, I would spend this die to change one of these to another, to a critical. Mm. Okay. Is that what you're trying to do? Uh, I, I, that's the way I read it. I don't know. What do you think? Admiral Screed. Once per activation, when a friendly ship is attacking, it may spend one die to change a die to a face with a critical icon. Yeah. I, that's, I, I'm pretty sure. So you you spent, I spent a die. So you spent your miss. Miss to change one of the other die to, to a critical. Okay, so you did two crits. Yeah, which, I mean, to the front, you got plenty of shields in front, so it's just going to take two shields down. Yeah, two shields down. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll take two shields down. Five goes down to three. Whoop, 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 whoop. All right. And you then, bastard. Uh, Red on fire. My move. Fire all turbo lasers. Ugh. These things are irritating. Yeah. I wish I could just. I don't, I don't know I what, what the best way to do it is. Armada. Is probably a better one. This is Star Wars Armada. Mantic has another game called Armada. Yeah. I think so. Okay. Ramming speed. <laughs> 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 All right. That's it. That is it. Um. They should. Can you. S uh, switch all those to um, yeah. the blue side. Yeah. So I wh who did I activate? You activated these two. Okay, so I have him to activate. Correct. Yeah, because these are face up on the cards. So Corvette, I uh, have uh, squadron inputted. Mm. So I can activate any unactivated squadron. Right. That one's that one. uh, engaged, so it can't move. It can't move, yeah. Yeah, but I think you can still fire. Oh, yeah, yeah. But, uh, I mean, we're I'm going to fire during the squadron's phase anyway. Yeah. So I'll probably... Yeah, and I... So, I'm not sure. so, see, the squadron thing didn't help me too much. 
Yeah. Um, so that was a bad uh, order pick, unfortunately. Well, yeah, we're still figuring okay. this out. Okay, so. so... Yeah, I'll just try to blow up something. Let's see, this... Uh, I'll just activate my B-Wings and bring my B-Wing over here and attacking this three health um, interceptors. Mm -hmm. uh, B-Wings have three blue dice. And when attacking a ship, if the defending hull zone has no shields... No, that, that's not, that's not going to help me there. Um... Yeah, so let's fire at that. Maybe we should fire at, at some ships instead of worrying about that bullshit. I don't know. B-Wing would go three. Yeah, because if you attack them, they're going to attack you back. They have counter two. Who? Um, the interceptors. interceptors. Yeah. Mm. They get a free attack back at you, basically. Oh. Well, I got no no choice because the B-Wings are too fucking slow. So I'm going to fire at them. Let them fire at me. Uh, so I got one hit and two accuracies. But I don't think TIE Defender have any. Do they? Yeah. They do? The Interceptors, yeah. All right. Well, you, you can't use... Either of them? Either of them. Okay. So you just take one hit. Okay. And now you're firing off your counter two. Yeah, counter After two. a squadron performs a non-counter, you may attack that squadron with uh, how many blue dice? Two. Two. So. <laughs> Nothing. All right, I got lucky. Basically, so it goes just down you one health. Yeah. Cool. Um, and then we'll go with the um, Nebulon B, mm -hmm. uh, which uh, it attacks. And so I can attack each of these ships because they're within my arc. Attacking squadrons with a ship, it could perform one attack against each squadron inside the firing arc and at attack range of the attacking hull zone. All right, so in the front hole zone, um, I'm attacking each of these, and then in the side hole zone, I'm attacking that one. Mm -hmm. The Nebulon B have two blue dice against each squadron, so we'll go against the um, the TIE Bombers first. Yep. Two hits, TIE Bombers. Okay. So I don't have anything. That's five health down to three health. And next is the TIE Fighters. TIE Fighters, only one hit. And turning off one of the abilities. So I guess we'll go three down to two. Okay. And then finally the TIE Defenders. I can knock this one out if I get two hits. So two hits. All right, I'll do the scatter. Scatter. What is scatter? Uh, it, uh Scatter Defender cancels all attack dice. Cancels all attack dice? Yeah. Holy shit. <laughs> That's a powerful one. That's nice, yeah. Okay, well, I would have blew them out of the sky, but they said, break, 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 and then... <laughs> so, there's definitely little cool little stories happening yeah. in, in my head and in the uh, thing. It's just going real slow because we're learning. Right. But we'll see if the system... Speeds up. Now I gotta move the ship, or I, gotta, I can attack with the ship. Let's see. You just did reds, attack, right? Yeah, but that's firing at the. Uh, that's oh, so using my uh, anti-fighter uh, weapons. So you now I'm using my main weapons, which right. are red dice. Three reds. Three reds on the star destroyer. So that is three hits and one accuracy. 
For each accuracy the defender chooses one of the defender's defense tokens. The chosen token cannot be used during this attack. So which to um so I hit you three times, what yeah. are you gonna do? So he has redirect and brace. When do I tell you which one you can't use? That's a good question. Okay, let me look. For each icon roll, the attacker chooses one of the defender's defense tokens, the chosen token. That sounds like I choose it first, and mm -hmm. then you make your decision. So you have redirect. What else? Uh, redirect, redirect, and uh, what's that one? Brace. Reducing the damage. You would reduce it to two instead of three, or you would redirect all three to a different zone. I'll turn off um, Brace. Okay. So I can't use Brace. Yeah. Three damage. Three damage. So I'm going to redirect one. How does that work? Redirect. The vendor chooses one of their whole zones adjacent. When the defender suffers damage. Blah, okay, blah, blah. so your port or starboard side. Right, so basically, I'm going to take one on each. I'm going to redirect, redirect, okay. and then just take one shield on each. Okay. Okay, so one thing that I've noticed about the game that is annoying to me mm -hmm. and that if you're a game designer, you're wondering, is there a way to do it without picking up, you know, things and putting it back Maybe down? Maybe have it on your cards. Yeah, have it over Cards here. and tokens on that, you know. Yeah. All right. Anyways, uh, next. That's uh, it? Yeah, that's it for you. And okay, so we can go into turn. No, uh, we go. Oh, that's right. Squadrons. squadrons. I have a f quite a few squadrons that haven't activated. Yep. Um, so... So the X wing hasn't, and this B wing, this A wing, yeah. and no, that one activated. All right, that, so let's. Well, I since it back, you went. It should go back to me when we starting the squadron phase, right? I have initiative. Initiative never changes. Do you remember? Right, right. right. But we're still in the one turn. So you went, right? No, that's we're not in the turn. Ship phase is over. That's where we're alternating. Let's see what it says under mm -hmm. squadron phase. Players take turns alternating, uh, activating two of their unactivated squadrons one at a time. Ah, okay. If a player only has one unactivated squadron, they must activate that squadron. But since you went last, you shouldn't go first again. This is a different phase. Yeah, I guess. The phase starts with the player who has initiative. Okay. Is Laogan here? Laogan? Laogan, you still here? Tell me why they don't change initiative back and forth, you know? Like, why does initiative stay with one person the whole time? Is that just, like, a part of... Because that's just arbitrary. That's just the die roll at the beginning of yeah. the game. I'd understand if it's like, no, rebels always have initiative or yeah. something like that. Because you can build it into the... Um, you know, you can build it in... Okay, so let's go... Two... And let's get this A wing. A wing goes five. Oh yeah. Let's try our best to gun down that advanced bullshit. So, because you're wondering, the A wing went here and the B wing went here. So A wing firing at those cool guys. Phantoms. Phantoms. Uh, only three blue dice, but we've got them engaged. Uh, you ignore criticals, so that's not a hit. Uh, we can turn off one of your tokens, and we only got one damage. Uh, we're already turned off, so it's one damage. Okay. Was that the first time they got hit, or no, was that second the second time. time? Yeah, second time. So they're down to two health. Yeah, but I do... Um, get to move, move one. Why is that? Uh, because of their special 
uh, after defending against an attack, if you spend a defense... Oh, I didn't... Yeah. Never mind. At the end of your squadron phase, you may... Okay, it's at the end of... I, I can get a free one. Okay. All right. Well, the only other uh, one here is my X-Wing, so... You, you move two, so it's my turn first. No, I... Oh, you're right. Yeah, so these TIE Fighters... All right. Dang, they didn't take any damage yet? Mm -mm. All right, so they'll move into them. And it says, after you move each squadron, engage with uh, you suffers one damage. So take one damage. After you move? Yeah. After you move, each squadron engaged with you suffers one damage. Because he's a, it's a named character. What? It's Mauler Mithril. He could have. <laughs> that's pretty cool. So he can, just by moving into somebody, he can actually do two damage, potentially, which is pretty good. Yeah. All right. So then he'll attack with three blue dice. So the crit goes away and two hits. Two hits. I'll flip one of mine to reduce it down to one hit. Okay. So and that's that. Down to four. That side. TIE Fighter is a little better than I thought he was, stupid mauler. All right, so now you're Now my X-Wing. Uh, coming over here to this X-Wing. Um, when attacking an activated squadron, you may add two blue dice. <gasps> you are activated. Give me two blue dice. That can definitely knock something out. Uh, should we use a... Should we use that to destroy the bomber? Yeah. Yeah, I get, gotta get those bombers off. Um, Alright, so he's firing at the bombers. That's three damage. Took him out. Okay. Yep. Ba -bam. Wedge. Nice job, Wedge. All right, that's it for the squadron's phase. So now we will move on over to an actual status phase. Players, refresh the play area by following these steps. Ready defense tokens. Flip each exhausted defense tokens to its ready side. You see these I, little tokens? I like that. You see, I don't like it because it's, it's like... A, an extra step, a bunch of steps, a bunch of fiddliness. I can see you know, that. maybe there's different ways to handle it, but this is the game. They determined that this is, you know, how to do it. Okay, and then ready to upgrade cards. So rotate each exhausted card that you had used. None of us used cards. And then flip the initiative token. Got it. Got it. And then place the round token. So place the round token with the next highest number next to the play area. So now we're in round three. So that, that was round two, right? Yep. Okay. So let me go ahead and make a little video here for round two. Okay, here's what the situation... Okay, here's the battle report after round two. Uh, the ships have engaged. A Mon Calamari cruiser looks to just be charging headlong into both of the Star Destroyers, an Interdictor and the Victory 2. Uh, did some good hits on the Interdictor, bringing its front shields down to zero. Uh, so hopefully we can follow up and do some, some good damage to that. The Interdictor did take one damage card, which was what? Like a fire? Yes, it is a compartment fire, which knocked out my crew. Compartment and, fire, got it. And uh, I'm not... Preventing you from using some tokens. Oh, uh, yeah, from readying my tokens. So yeah, let me so put the, that back. Oh, there it is. So that, that affects in. right there. Yeah, right there. Perfect. Okay, and uh, Karelian Corvette is pulling a flanking maneuver, trying to come around the side. Uh, we are uh, fighting back. The uh, Y-Wings uh, just took a big hit from Mauler. Mauler is in those uh, TIE Fighters. A-Wings are trying to do some work on those advanced-looking guys. They're the TIE Phantom Squadron. Phantoms. 
And over here, Wedge Antilles actually destroyed uh, the freaking Thai Bombers. Um, he does really well against uh, fighters that have already activated, getting two, two additional attack dice. Um, yeah, and just trading a little bit of uh, turbo lasers back and forth. And we'll see what happens during turn three. All right, so now we program. Yep. Right. And programming. Okay. Or the programming goes, goes on, on the, the bottom. bottom. Yeah. Okay. All of my stuff has been programmed. You, you're programmed? Uh, I am good. Okay. Uh, now uh, I go. Yeah. <laughs> Initiative. See, that's so yeah. uh, advantageous. I don't like it. It is. So there's a lot of things I do like, but then a there's, few things yeah, here a couple, nagging a couple things here and there. Yeah. That are kinda All nice. right. So you have a Z. Oop. So this is real, real good. It got you nice and set up for a Mon Calamari cruiser attack here. Yeah. Going to try to hit you as hard as possible. Let me get this camera here. Okay, let's try to take out this interdictor. So we've got four reds, three blues. Four reds, three blues. Oh, what's your die? Oh, yeah, what's my die? die? My die is concentrate firepower. So that's going to give us an additional red. All right, I have one right here. Thank you. All right, so firing everything at the interdictor. Let's see if there's anything else that can help us. Actually, we you should probably do an additional black. Black's the best one. Blacks are the best die, not, yeah. not yeah. reds? Yeah. Uh, oh, well, I don't have any black. Oh, well, then So do you a can't blue. choose black unless you... You want to do a blue then? Reds are bad? Reds are the worst ones, yeah. Blues are the next the next best. So black, blue, then red. Really? Yeah. Oh, but reds can give you uh, a crit. Interesting. All right. Well, I'll just choose a blue. Okay. So um, black dice matters. Yeah. When when you have black. I guess, it's but none of our range. ships have black. Yeah, close range. What do you, you mean close range? Like uh, your die tie bomber, um, and your. Oh yeah, but none of our ships have. It. Well, oh my battle cruiser has black against against yeah against squadrons. Uh, squadrons. Jeez, yep. so I can fire these against the squadrons yep. as well. But let's do this against the interdictor first. Okay, here we go. Oh, I don't know. Maybe good, maybe bad. See. See why I wanted these reds? So that's four hits right there. Five, uh, six, seven, eight. Eight hits with one accuracy. So, um, yeah. I'll take I'll take that. Eight with three crits. Mm, nice. But does crits not matter beyond the first crit? Critical effect. When the attacker resolves a critical effect, the first damage card that the defender receives is dealt face up. Face yeah, so up damage cards count. Yeah, so it'll be like the first, the ones they get through will be your crits if they get through. I know, but what I'm saying is, do you have to flip three face up cards? Yeah, if you have three crits, yeah. Really? If, if all three get through, yeah. Potentially. The way I read it, 
The attacker can resolve a critical effect if they have rolled at least one critical. Yeah. When the attacker resolves a critical, the first damage card that the defender receives is dealt first up. But I don't see where it says that stacks. Face-up damage cards count as damage against the hill, the Be ship's hull. Because all the all the damage counts. So you're going through it individually, basically. And the attack resolves the critical effect. The first damage card that the defender receives is dealt faced up. The first one. What about the second one? Well, the, what about the third? Because one? that don't, because that first one. I don't know. I'm trying to help you. Yeah, no, I know, I know. But, <laughs> but you I'm know trying, what I mean? Yeah, but that, so that first one. I'm just reading. Is uh, from that dice. What, the way I read it is you need at least one critical for the first damage card to be resolved face up. Now, if there's no additional sentences that says the second one, this, then the third one. So I don't know, man. We'll need to figure it out. I can type multiple crits. Anyways, let's let's figure it out from let's just do this right All now. Right. So how many total? Eight. Did you have any of the um, I did have an accuracy, so yeah. do you, what do you have uh in I green? have contain. What you have which con prevents criticals. And what else? And how many contains do you have? I have two. And the other one? Uh is a um re uh, redirect. Okay, so it says only hey, one out. card. Yeah, rules say only one card. Doesn't matter how many crits were rolled. Yeah, see, that's the way I interpret it. Yeah, see, I, unless another sentence happens, it's like this well, effect stacks. Well, well, because in X Wing, if you get those crit cards, as as many as you have crit dice. I like that you have yeah. knowledge of X Wing for yeah. sure, but I don't um, know. I mean, it's it could a different be totally game. different. Um, yeah. So that's why I have to read when I read the rules. It's like if I don't see it saying, "Yeah, see, an X wing may stack," but I don't. Yeah. I'm not reading that here. So if we could, let's just play this way. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Because I don't see any other. We, we, I mean, we could play it either way, and then we'll look it up after the stream. But okay, so I hit you for eight, and I could either turn off the contain or turn off the redirect. Right. I would probably want to turn off the redirect because you have zero shields right there. So yeah. all eight hits would go towards your fucking ship. Yeah. And would it blow it up? What's your hull value? Uh, it's going to be 10. Actually, no. It, it's going to be... I don't know. Where's, what size ship am I? Hull value is in the three the scratches. Right. With the I, whole, uh, yeah, but what size ship am I? Where's that? Where's that at? It doesn't matter. Uh... I don't know. Because depending on the size. Oh, well, you're a medium. That's a medium. This is a large base. That's a medium. This is a small. Okay. Okay. I got you. So I have 11 whole points. How do you have 11? Because of Admiral Mati gives me additional two whole points. Okay. Well, uh, then, yeah, I'll turn off the redirect so I can give you all eight. Yeah. So redirect. And then Damn. I'll cancel the crits. Yeah, and so that's boom, yep. eight freaking hit. So, um, how do you do that? You take you, you take draw the cards. eight damage yeah. cards. Because you yeah. only had how many crits did you have? I had three crits. Three crits. You still get one crit then, because I can only turn off two, or is that turn off all of them? Oh, interesting. The defender prevents yeah. the attacker from resolving a critical effect. Okay. So, yeah, so I turn oh, off two. so that's why you want multiple crits in yeah. case you have ways to turn it off. So, which, it doesn't matter. I mean, turning off one or turning off two doesn't really matter. But You're, so, just, you're just trying to turn off yeah. the effect in, in the total. And then power you failure. Under. Your engineering value is reduced to half. <laughs> Fuck. Engineering reduced to half. Yeah. Got it. And then, so, eight... So that was one, one two, two, three, three four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. There are three hits left three. on that interdictor. Yeah. Okay. Yes. The Mon Calamari hits hard. It's good to see that, at least from the front. Yeah. You know, because I've played Rebels before and I remember playing, I was like, oh my God, like I can't do shit. Um, I just don't have anything that hits hard enough. 
the MC-80 battle cruiser definitely hits hard enough from the front with with all that. Especially when you're hitting a zero shield uh, shield section. Okay, so now that the attack has resolved, uh, let me also fire, fire, fire at these two squadrons and this mm -hmm. squadron. And that's the other thing, uh, chat. If can you fire multiple times, so at squadrons and at ships. Yeah, and that's so here's here's why you can. Yeah. So when you when you're firing at a squadron, it's not firing at a ship. It's firing at a squadron. Okay. So where's that? Do you think that you know in I'm just game curious. mechanics terms, yeah. if a Mon Calamari is flying around and doing battle with a, a star destroyer? You think you say, no, I'm not going to fire any of my weapons. I'm going to instead shoot that one sh that one fighter off in the distance. No. Um, most of the most of the space battle games let people use their point defense, which are separate weapons. So you're not technically firing twice. You're firing a completely different weapon category. But I'll I'll keep reading here so that we can get you that that wound. Well, maybe you're right. Attacking squadrons with a ship. When a ship attacks a squadron, it can perform one attack against each squadron within its fire arc. And the firing arc and at attack range of the attacking hull zone. Each attack is resolved separately. So maybe maybe that's the opportunity cost. Like I, if I choose to attack a fighter, it says here's your bonus. You can attack every single fighter in your arc. Yeah. Versus ignoring the fighters. You know what I mean? Cause like, but you have to throw out all the rules of other space games, right? Because we're not playing well, other that's, space yeah, games. Because yeah, what... other space games allow you to fire your point defense at the same time. Because obviously your turbo lasers are going, and then you're also firing. Can you fire out of one? Can you fire out of each arc? You can fire out of each arc, right? See, if that's the right, case, then then right. I can do it. Under ship phase, it says perform up to two attacks from different hole zones. Okay, so you could do two attacks from two, two attacks. different hole zones. Yeah. That's so you can, so if if you can line it up right, and you've got a ship that's in the middle of a, that can split two of your hull zones, right. technically you can attack twice. And that that tells me that so I don't know. I'm thinking that that gives you two attacks. You either fire at squadrons, give you or a, you fire at. It's not going to give you two attacks if a ship is in your front hull. Is it if a if right, a right. ship is in front facing? That's one attack. Right. And then if there's nothing else in the galaxy, then that's just one attack. Right. But if there's something else behind you, you could fire like a, at that as well. Like another ship or mm -hmm. another yeah. squadron. And then when you choose to do the attack in the rear, you can attack all squadrons. You can fire two times from different zones, so yeah. one in each. Uh, the upgrade gunner team lets you fire from the same arc twice, but at different targets. So that's probably a card that everybody gets. Yeah. I don't. Did you see that card somewhere? No, no, but... Upgraded gunners. Let you fire from the same arc twice, yeah. but it has to be at different ranges. Okay, yeah, but at different targets. At different targets. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well then, so again, I think okay. it's you can only f so you can only fire twice, and you pick that the, the, those uh, targets. You're right? attacking twice. So the first attack from this zone there. Yeah. Now this is turned off. I've yes. already resolved that. I can attack from here, here, and here. So I'm going to attack from here, and I'm going to choose squadrons. Yes. And because I choose squadrons, it's going to allow me to choo attack each squadron within Correct. each, uh, Correct. within that arc. So let's do yeah, that. Yeah, I think that's 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 how to do it. How we do it. So and then 
the battle cruiser is badass against ships. If you say the black dice is the best, it's got two black dice against fighters. So against the um, interceptors, that's three uh, hits. Okay. I will use uh, my scatter and get negate your attack dice. Oh, well, that's right, because you refresh your scatter yeah. at the end of turn two. We're right. in turn three. Right. All right, and then against the Thai uh, make sure, fighters. Make sure, just make sure that's in range. It is. You're using a fighter ship. Well, that's You're using the fighter marker. That's a <sighs> ship firing at you. Yeah. My bad. Ah, uh, fucking two blanks. Okay. This is high risk, high reward. Um, oh, well, I'm going to use veteran gunners. While attacking, you can exhaust this card to reroll all dice in your attack pool. Cool. One hit. Okay. He, takes one. he just takes it. He has so that's one a regular. health left. Yeah. Darn. Thought that would be a little better. Okay. Um, that completes his turn. See, it's a little slow. Yeah. Well, I mean, we're still going through. I know, a but lot I of can the rules. Can't you still tell that it is a little? Well, yeah, all right. a little yeah, bit. Maybe. 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 I don't know. It's just a lot of uh, fiddliness with the tokens. Oh, you got to move. That's right. So uh, speed two. <laughs> so what happens when you? Look it up. I don't know. <laughs> when you hit each other. What happens when you hit each other in chat? Come on, tell me that. I think you'd probably just move it to where it can be moved. Because that's where it would go. That's, I mean, I hate to keep saying it, but that's how it is in X-Wing. You just kind of part the waters. Overlapping ships. Page 19. Must temporarily reduce speed to one. So you got to go back one. And yeah, you just go one. You temporarily reduce your speed to one. Okay. That's it. No, no ramming. Well, we would both receive a face down. Actually, we we still both receive a face down damage card. After moving the move ship and the closest ship at overlap, both receive one face down damage card. Okay. All right. So one for you, one for me. All right. Cool beans. Let's go with the hemp. It is squadrons. Paper biscuit. Okay. All right. So. These guys are still Thank you. Range. The game is broken. Nice miniatures. It is. It's a great, great miniatures. The the plastic is pre-painted. It's freaking awesome. Except Let's for we painted the spiders. Let's go with uh, TIE Fighter Swarm first. Um, you revealed the squadrons. Yeah. We'll do the TIE Fighter Swarm first. They got three blue dice. So... While attacking a squadron, engage with another squadron. You may reroll one dice, so I get one reroll. And I will. Oh, that has wedge, right? Mm -hmm. uh, what? This is refreshed. Okay, so flip one of those. Flip one of these. Yeah. Not flip. Them. You All don't right. flip. I just can't use it. You can't use it. Okay. Well, and then two damage. Two damage. I'll reduce it by one. So go down just one damage. Okay. 
Now that wedge the is down to three health. Tight interceptor on wedge. Again, we got swarm, so I can reduce your squad is engaged, performing on counter attack. It suffers one damage. Hang in there, wedge, hang in there. Oh. Damn. I forgot to do that. Sorry. Do what? Uh I'll do it next time. Uh after your squadron after a squadron you are engaged with performs a non counter attack. It suffers one damage if it did not attack you. Mm, okay. So just for future references. I That's guess. for the interceptor? Yeah. All right. So the interceptor is four dice with reroll. No. You can't use your defense because of the accuracy. So take three dice or three damage. Three damage? Yeah. <gasps> And with the accuracy, I can't use this to reduce it, which means that Wedge is destroyed. Nice. No, Wedge. No. Well, come on. I thought Wedge can handle more than two squadrons. I think he'd handle three squadrons. Damn. All right. That's and wild. That well, I guess he did handle it for one turn. I had to get him out of there. Can he... Reach. No. All right. So that's that. Now he'll fire. So I'm going to fire straight ahead, I believe. That's the best course of action. Red leader. Red leader. Yep. So I got three reds and three blues. Okay. Um, blues. Choose and exhaust one of any blue criticals, I can choose one of your upgrade cards uh, and exhaust it. Do you have any upgrade cards on that? This? Yeah. Four. That that get exhausted? Yes. All right. So let's roll. See what happens. All right. So and three accuracies, a critical, and three hits. So three accuracy, so take those, flip. You can't use your three. Three? Yeah. You do it each time, or is it just once? Uh, it's each. That's we, we, We've been doing it each time. One for each. One for each? One okay. for each. So. so basically, I can't use No, the no, no. No, not those. Your, your defense tokens. Your accuracies, okay, so no, I can't use any of these, right. got it. And then, so now, this comes into play. So if if I choose, um, you choose to exhaust one of your... So fiddly, okay, uh, just to exhaust one, it's, uh, I guess, my I, ion cannons. Okay, that's fine, that, I'll pick that. Uh, and then, now the damage, so... And how much damage? Three. You have... Uh, three damage and a crit. So the first, so four total damage. Okay. Well, I've got three shields up here in the front left, so I'll take one damage. Yeah. Which is the crit. Which is the crit. But I got a medical team. Before your Delta face up damage card, you may discard this card completely to discard that damage card. So. That well, I would have turned that one it. off. Of you places. choose? Yeah, I choose. <laughs> All right. Well, then you would have turned this one <laughs> yeah, off. Yeah, I, I choose. All right. I got injured crew. That's uh, the same as choose mine. and discard one of your defense tokens. Oh, that's actually pretty well, nice. Well, if you, if you had injured crew, where's your discarded No, token? I have um, the crew cannot ready my defense tokens. I don't. Okay. I'll little... discard my redirect. Yeah, that's probably the best one to discard. Wow, that's pretty good. And now, I reduce my speed to one, and we both take another damage. Because you slam I guess into we just, me? Yeah. Okay. Boop. Yep. All right. So that's my turn. All right. Let's, because I don't uh, have any other firing. Right. Out of any of my arcs. Okay. Well, I can go with my Corvette, or I can go with my Nebulon. My Nebulon might be able to take out the Interdictor. 
left. You got yeah, three health on, uh, left, right? Zero. It's on, it's, on uh, it's last legs. Okay. That shit, even the Corvette could probably do it. Probably, but maybe we could save the Corvette for some anti-fighter bullshit. Uh, Corvette. Yeah, let's try the frigate first. Okay. So, what is that? A gear? Repair. Yeah, well, fuck that up. I don't need to repair. Uh... And then I will... Shoot, then move. Shoot, then move. Oh, I see. Okay, yeah, well. All right. We'll do red dice on this bad boy. Only okay. got three. Firing at the uh, Victory 2 Star Destroyer. Two hits. Two hits. Um... Oh, redirect one. Wait, take this down to one. And I'll take one in the front. Take one in the front, down to one. Is this at one? I can't see it. That's at one. Cool. And then speed two. I'm going to go here. I'm going to click over once. And then I'm going to click over a second time. Can I do that with the Nebulon? Yes. So, I'm going to go. Yep. Cool. All right. And that's it for him. All right. So, the Interdictor will con concentrate fire at El Nebulano. Okay. All right. So, he has... Two red and two blue. I will take another... Foot Clan, Mumra. Blue. Cobra Kai is just a bunch of kids. They'll get beat up by adults. Here we go. All right. One, two, three. Three hits. And two shut down. Two shut down, yeah. Oops. Do you choose the shutdowns? Yes. Oh, no, no. You choose the shutdowns. I choose the Sorry. shutdowns? Yeah. Okay. And what range are you hitting me at? It's that one. This one? Yeah. Who are you shooting? This guy. That at who? The Karelian Corvette? Yeah, at the Karelian. This isn't the Karelian. No, that one. I'm saying that one right there. Okay. You were over here. All right. So what range are you at? I'm at one. So I can use all dice. So. Why do you keep pointing at the Nebulon? This no, is the Karelian Corvette. Oh, you're talking about the Mon Calamari Cruiser. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, go ahead. And you're shooting me. You got, what, all that bullshit. So you could turn two of these off, which is basically both of my braces. Yeah. And so I have to take three damage. Yeah. Okay. Um, going from front arc to front arc, I think. So that's zero on that shield. Yeah. One, two, three. Ah, uh, see, here's where it gets fucking bullshit. But I'm gonna give you know, since we're friends and it doesn't matter, you're from what I'm looking at here. You're in my side arc. What do you think? I don't know how the arcs work in this game. I think if I can see your front arc, yeah, I can hit your front arc. There you go. Oh, maybe we're not drawing from me. We're drawing from All right you yeah so when if we're drawing from you it would be like this right that right. and that right so from your front arc oh but i don't know how well let's look it up yeah okay maybe you get a choice that's probably what it is measuring firing firing arc I don't, I don't know where it is. Uh, page 16. Line of sight and obstruction. Targeting point. The yellow piece is the targeting point. 
When a ship or, our, of, or a squadron attacks, it must trace a line of sight from <gasps> La Oficina. Oficina. Uh -oh. La Oficina is calling Angry Joe. Angry Joe, you're in trouble. Thank you for subscribing. <laughs> Appreciate you. Nice. So from that, that dark. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So from the yellow dot, I guess, uh -huh. uh, when tracing a line of sight to or from a hold zone, a line is traced using the yellow targeting point printed in that hold zone. So so as long as you can draw an unobstructed line from yellow to yellow, which I think you can see yellow to yellow, right? Yeah. Is that what that means? Yeah. And then yellow to yellow, so you have a choice. You're like... Do I want to fire at your side or do I want to fire at your front? Is that how it works? I would think. I believe Yellow so. to yellow, yeah. Okay. So hit my front because that's where I have no shields. You're hitting me for three. Yeah. Any crits? No crits. Give me three damage there cards. And my Carillion Corvette has eight hull, and you've now done five damage. So I'm wow. about to blow up. I've only got three left, and I haven't even started on your victory two. What is your victory two? have uh my victory two has two damage and it has medium so it has 10 whole points damn man so it's basically like my carillion my mon calamari is fighting two mon calamaris well the interdictor is a little weaker or a little or uh, about the same no the interdictor is a, a little stronger it's a little more defensive whereas the victory class is a little bit more offensive mm. Oh, um, damn it. <laughs> so, yeah, it's basically 2v1, right? Well, If yeah. you don't count my little guys. Yeah, if you don't count the little guys. Damn, see, but I was I trying took, to set it up to where I the Rebels finally had the jump on the Imperials. But I took this guy right here, Admiral Mati. He gives you two additional hull points, which is huge. Would you be dead already or something? For both of my guys. What do you mean for both of yeah, your guys? Yeah, so... That's ridiculous. The hull value of each friendly ship is increased according to the size of its class. <coughs> what? Oh, how many points is Admiral whatever? Uh, 24 points. All right. That's a lot of points. And he's aboard which ship? You never told me. Um, He's aboard this one. Okay. So he's about to die. Yeah. But Because I have Admiral Screed on the other one. Okay. You done? Uh, No. No. So I'll... Shoot the uh, your fighter A wings right here. So he gets one blue and one one blue and one black. Okay. Going at your A wings. Here we go. <laughs> nothing. Uh, a lot of nothing. I right, turn something off. That's about it. Okay. All right. And then I I move and damage. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I'm going to hit you mm -hmm. and I'm going to take a damage and you're going to take a damage but I might I might one, two Explode. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, <laughs> nine this will be ten I have one damage left oh and you get one and you'll have two left right? oops yeah I got two health left yeah fuck Ramming speed. Ramming speed. <laughs> All right. So unless you, unless we do a maneuver, we can't get. Yeah, I don't We're just like going to keep hitting each other. I mean, that's the way I, I see it. No, because if you have enough speed and you can get through them. Right. That's what I'm saying. Oh. I, I would have to do a maneuver. Unless we do a maneuver. To get up to three. Right. I have to get up to three at least. Because two is not going to so get you past it. It's literally just. <laughs> 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 I, don't know, I don't like that. I would I would do uh, in the rules I would do okay you can ram and then once the ram is finished you, then you, you like you resolve it and you yeah. choose where you want yeah, to Yeah you go. like slip on either side of each other or something like that. Yeah. All right. Moving on. Yeah. So I've got my Carillion Corvette left so um let's Actually, try the to blow Carillion, that up. Yeah, the Carillion Corvette could probably blow it up, blow him up. Yeah. We'll see. Uh you can do a click and then he can do two clicks. So yeah, I can I can get on there. So one click. Yeah, this this mug is hurting. And then two clicks.
What is it? Oh, the Karelians don't hit hard. One blue, two reds. Yep. Is that any good? I doubt it. Yeah, we'll see. Two hits. Two hits. That's all you need. I mean. Oh, that's what I needed. Yeah, I can't. I can't. Now, is there an explosion? I can't do anything. Boom! Interdictor explodes. But I don't think there is like a an overload in this game, which sucks. One. Should definitely do an overload. Me too. And it goes down. Some kind of explosion. Okay. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> That's the pizza. The pizza just went down. But now, my God, this next turn, this thing is going down for sure. And then it'll be a Nebulon B and a Corellian Corvette versus a Victory 2. All right. Um, all right. And I guess I'll fire out of a, another arc here. Uh, at uh, a fighter and that fighter over there. Okay. One hit. Uh, which one was it? From here to uh, there. Uh, one hit. Oh, the phantoms. Oh, exhaust it. Scatter. Scatter. Okay. All right, well, then we uh, move on to the squadrons yep. phase. Um, and I will go first, and I'll try to finish him off with the A-wing. Three blues. That's only one hit. On uh, which one? Uh, from one? the A-wings A -wing? to that. Because the criticals don't matter. Yeah, it's only one hit, so he's down to one health left. Yeah, okay. And then my second attack will be um, these over here, these B-wings against anything within one. So... Uh, Highest chance is taking out that guy. You're going to take damage if you don't go after my guy. I'm going to take one damage if yep. I don't go after those guys. Yeah. And he has two health. Uh, B wings. Three blues. That's fucking annoying. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take the damage because I'm going to blow up those other TIE okay. fighters. Got them. So these get destroyed, and yeah. then this goes down to four. Okay. All right. Your two squads. All right, so let's Any do blues. This. these guys first. Here to here. Okay. That's four. Four, um... We have four blues. All right, so it looks like turn off two and a hit. Are, are those named? What's interesting is I don't see any music on the... Oh, there it goes. It's just really low. What? Are your A-wings... Name guys, are just yeah no. Okay, so just take one hit, one damage. One damage, okay. A wing. Yeah, gotcha. All right, now the Tie Fighter. Tie Fighter. Waller. Damn it. All right, Waller is three. Did you fire to my A wings though? Yeah. Okay, my A-Wings have that counter-attack, so two against you should yep. blow you up. I missed! Yep. 
All right, so three against the white wings. Two hits and a crit, which does nothing. Uh, white wings, I can reduce it by half, so one. Okay. This guy's down to three health. He must. I don't know who has been hitting him. Oh, oh. oh he's down. To All right. All right. You've been hitting him? Yeah. Okay, yeah, because he's, yeah. he's going down. All right, my uh, B-Wings. So I was going to try to save this B-Wing squadron right here to blow up that interdictor, but instead we'll shoot that if we can get it within range. Let's see, two. I need to move across this. I guess you can, huh? Yeah. You go up alongside of it. <laughs> and then... So, two. And then... You see all the the fucking yeah. pushing and yeah. thing? I think I got you. Yeah. Okay. It's just fucking annoying. All right, B-Wing from the front... B wing squadron. That's two black dice. Cool. While uh, attacking a ship, if the defending hull zone has no shields, you may re-roll any number of dice. I think you have one shield yeah, have left one on in the, the front. front. Yeah. Uh, one hit and one crit. All right. So. So it's two damage and one of them the cards crit? face up. Yeah. Uh, we nice. will. We will split it. Um. And then I will redirect. Split one die. So I split it, so one damage, which is the crit. Okay. And then I'll redirect to a shield. So okay. This goes to one. Interesting. Um, and then this Y wing here. Uh, Uh, three blue dice to try to <laughs> blow up the mauler. Oh, that's right. That's that mauler. Yeah. That's why he's getting fucked up over there. Uh, when a squadron you attack suffers at least one damage, you may toggle its activation slider. Oh, I should have done that. Uh, two hits. Two hits. So I'm going to scatter. Mauler has scatter? Yep. Mauler's maybe one of the best pilots in the game. Shit. Okay. Well, I need to stop fucking around with Y-Wings against Mauler. That's for damn sure. That's cool. All right. All right. So after the end of my squadron phase, I may move distance one. So this guy's going to move distance one. That's if you use the token, right? No. It's just it's cloak. It's one of his abilities. All right. All right, we're done. Done with that. Now to status, status phase. phase. Ready all defense tokens. Program phase. So now we're in our in turn three. Okay, let me get this thing going. It's the end of turn three, correct? Yeah. Two, two more turns. Wait, Wait, no. It's the end of turn three. Yeah. All right. At the end of turn three, as you can see, the interdictor has gone down. It's down. Uh, the last killing blow is delivered by the Carillion Corvette. And that's after the interdictor con continuously rammed the Mon Calamari. Mon Calamari is down to two health. Uh, that's a full health victory two Star Destroyer. So essentially when I thought I was going to come in here and beat up on him a little bit, I realized the, you know, the Mon Calamari is about as good as both of these. So it's 2v1 in this situation.
But when you factor in my, my smaller ships, uh, we'll see. So I think my Mon Calamari, after one last glorious uh, attack, is probably going to blow up. And then it's up to the uh, Nebulon and the Corvette to try to take down uh, the victory before the end. Uh, doing good on the fighter side. Uh, actually, the fighter side is kind of a draw, but my B-Wings are, are still alive, so they can do a lot of good work on that Star Destroyer. I'm making a mistake here with my Y-Wing engaging with Mauler. Mauler TIE Fighter, this guy is really, really good uh, as the Empire's uh, option. And uh, these guys got scared of my A-Wing, so they... Um, left the engagement i think you can do that i don't know i have to look up the rules uh but yeah so it's kind of a draw on the fighter side of things so far at least until i can get my b wings in range of the uh, star destroyer and hopefully we can take them out all right let's see what happens next All right. Well, what what what's what's the lowdown on this Suicide Squad game? Is that it's not very uh, good terrible? It's just the same shit over and over. Uh, it's a live service game, oh. and so what they do is they kind of game the system to keep you grinding. So the enemies are very spongy. The missions are super boring. It's like hold a position and waves and waves of robots come. It's uh, like I'm, <laughs> zombie what are you game. doing? <laughs> yeah, it's like I'm I'm, a, I'm heroes. What? Why are we? Yeah. Ugh. All right, so program in. Okay, yeah, I'm I'm good. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, and then under. And then under. Go ahead and remove the interdictor. Yeah. And then. Such a nice looking ship. Too. Yeah, I love it. It's pretty sweet. <laughs> Decided, yeah, and and then plus the story's insulting. Because, like, they're killing off all, all of our favorite characters and really? not even in glorious ways and just shitty ways. Oh, my God. Because, you know, the, I guess they're like, well, at least we're delivering on kills the Justice League, but it's oh just not gosh. done nicely. Okay, so um, I still have an initiative, which, yep. again, I've said it every single turn now that I don't like that, even though it's giving me the advantage because my uh, Mon Calamari Corvette will get one last hurrah against... Uh, your bad boy right there. So, okay. revealing, uh, it is a repair. Um, I don't know. We haven't can done I repairs. Repair? Yeah. I do. I guess I have four engineering, so I can use three engineering points to do the thing. Yeah, I'm There's not a sure thing what... I can do. Uh, repair, here you go. After this is revealed on the dial. Three points. Discard any one of the ship's face-up or face-down damage cards. Oh, three points. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So I'll discard one of those. Yep. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five now. Instead Recover of one six. shield and any of the ship. Shield and then I, for I have points. one point left. Oh, for one point, you may move one shield from uh, one zone to another. To another zone. Okay. Yep. All right. I guess I'll move... This shield right here from from two, and then put one up front here. All right. What did you want to do with uh, your engineering? No, you got to finish out. Oh, your that was my thingamajig. Yeah, I forgot. Now okay. you finish. You your, actually have yeah. to initiate that to do it. Yeah. Now we do uh, the attack first, yep. and then the move. Yep. So the attack is th four reds and three blues. That is Metal Dan. Metal Dan 911. Thank you for subscribing and supporting our show now for two months. 
Appreciate that, middle Dan. This one's for you, Dan. Let's see how uh -oh. much damage we can do. Damn it, Dan. Bop, 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 bop. Sure, okay. We've got two criticals. Uh, two hits. And so that's going to be five damage total with two criticals and turning off one yep. uh, defense dice. So you can turn off a redirect or my... Um but do you see how fiddly all these interactions are? Yeah. It's like, okay, so I roll the dice. Now I have to organize my dice. Now I have to apply my dice. Now yep. I have to choose on that. It's like, I like, you know, space combat games where it's just like, bam, 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 which is like, you know. I agree. Yeah. But it is simulating quite a lot. So that's it, yeah. the other side of the coin. Is or brace. There. So redirect or brace. Redirect or brace. Brace is like half the damage. Yeah. And redirect. Uh, I mean, I don't we'll even move. know if you can redirect anymore. Well, I can redirect. I'll be able to redirect twice. Well, so yeah, but you're taking one of five their whole damage. Zones to adjacent. So you'll still take damage. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, go ahead and uh, get rid of the brace. So take five damage. With two of them being crits. Okay, so take... So you took took away that, and then I have to use the redirects. How many total? I'm five sorry. total damage five total? coming to your front arc. Okay, so look, I've got one on each, so I'll take two total damage because of my two redirects go down one, one. So everything is at zero. So that was three shields, so I'll take two. And you had two crits, right? Two crits. So these are two crits. But we still don't know whether both are face up or it's just one that's face up. I think we decided oh, only just one, one is face up. I looked at both of them. All right, so this one is face up. Structural damage. Deal one face down damage card to your ship. Ugh. An additional and this, one. Yeah, so that, that, and that. So I have a total of five damage points on. And your ship is at 10 damage? 10, ten so whole points. Five more so damage. So half, yeah. It's half. All right. All right. And, and then you move. And <laughs> Well, hold on. I got one more arc of fire. I'm just oh, going to yeah, try yeah. to take out some uh, one of these guys. Let's do two black dice on this. Yep. That's uh, three hits. Three hits. I'll scatter. Okay, well, I, I hate that scatter, but at least you've used it, yes. so once I fire, Correct. I can. So now you move, we both hit each other mm -hmm. and get a, another damage. So now I have one hell, one one whole point left, which you can probably blow me up once it's your turn. Yeah. So what that was, boom, and then I stop. Yeah. All right, so now my guy activates, and this is a repair also. Okay. So with my repair, how many engineering? Points? I have four engineering points. So you can get rid of one face down card or one face up card. Yeah, because you don't. Which I don't have any face up. So, or I can do shields. Might be a good thing. Oh, man, decisions, decisions. Where is the? Where's the repair thing? Just had it. Same here, Autobot Matt. Love it. Love the tabletop models. This is cool as shit. Let's see if we can zoom in even more. Oh, here it is. All right, so recover one shield in any of the zones. So that's what I'll do. I'll do two um, shields in my front zone. Dead. 
two shields in your front zone. Yeah. And then uh, firing. Okay. So it's three red and three blue. Three All right. Looks like blue. my Carillion Corvette is about to explode. Okay. Three, four, five, six. I actually have two health points. All right, here we go. Ooh, nice. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> uh, so that's five, five regulars and two crits. So seven total damage. Oh, man, you know when you said, oh, you removed your best one, when the redirect? Yeah. That was the best one. I shouldn't have removed the redirect. That would have allowed me to get a little bit of mitigation. Yeah. All I could do is I can have it. So a seven rounded up. That's four. What? Yeah. Three. Three rounded up. Four. Yeah. Okay. Next. So... How many shields did I have in my front? I yep. I did one shield in my front. Yeah. So I can only take three, uh, or I'm taking three when I can only handle two. So that brings down the Mon Calamari cruiser called Mon Karen. Hold on. Is there anything else I can do? Uh, nope. That does it. Fuck. Damn it. And when the rebels lose a Mon Calamari, it is it is so much more uh devastating to the war because efforts. They're, yeah, they're fewer and far between. Way fewer and way far between. That sucks. So we tried to surprise you in a nebula, and the best we did is we took out an interdictor. Mm -hmm. Though I do think that we'll, we might the be able to take your out. Yeah, the interdictor's stronger than that one, I I think. Yeah. I overestimated the power of the uh, of this one. Maybe a star frigate uh, on a rebel can do better, or an assault frigate. Uh, but I don't have either of those models. All right, now movement. Uh, I have to go straight for the one, and then I can bend it to. No, you overlap, so yeah. you take a damage, I take a yeah. damage. We can do that. But you see, that's bullshit. I hate that. <laughs> because I like I normally I wouldn't care, but that's how it's supposed to be. All right. Does he clip my back? Okay. Um Well, Uh, you got one shield back there, zero shields here, zero shields here. We'll go with the Karelian Corvette and try to take you out. Cool. This is concentrate firepower, so we get an extra dice, and we'll go uh, three reds, or two red, no, three reds, and one blue. On your side because it has zero yep. shields. Damn it. Uh, two damage, and you can't use one thing with a crit. Oh, that's good because if I can't use my half damage, I get two damage. Is it a crit? Was that your, yeah, it was a crit. Okay. Was that your last two damage? Well, uh, I don't oh, know. No, you have five damage or something. Let me no, you have four I've damage ten, left. Ten total, so I've got one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, so that first one. But maybe the t the face crew. up card. And then, so it's crew panic. Before you you reveal your command dial, you must uh, suffer one damage or discard <laughs> that dial. If you discard that dial, do not reveal the dial this round. Uh, okay, I'm not gonna discard it, it anytime. Mm -hmm. You know, so you have one health left. I have one health left. Fucking hell. Okay. Well. Oh, I got you. 
You see it? Oh, you know what? Do you mind if I... I forgot to side, shoot out my side to the bombers. Do you mind if I do that? Yeah, go ahead. Um, that's only one blue dice. Let's see. One hit. One hit to... Your uh, B-wings. One hit to the B-wings. Okay. Bay wings go down to four, and then do yours too to to uh, oh. your side and shot. Oh, actually, it's you're over here. So that's what I'm saying is yeah, I think I here. I think I got you. So watch this. So you remember how we got that you know front arc to that? Yeah. Well, check it out. My side arc can hit your front arc. Yeah. Oh, but you have two shields here. Yes. Hmm. Damn it. Well. Um, guess it's worth trying. Yeah, at least take some down. Or we could go against fighters, but that only gives me one blue dice. And you're just going to scatter. You only have one health left on that? I got to do that. I'm firing okay. at those guys. Hit. Hit. Scatter. Scatter. <laughs> Uh, that's my but so after defending against an attack I can spend a defense token and I can move the distance of one uh, yeah and I did spend a d defense token uh, even if I'm engaged so he's gonna go I mean you, you're gonna be able to catch me but I just want to get in the, a better position okay um, your turn. Uh, I I don't have any. That ship is destroyed. Okay, so yeah. Nebulon is up to the Nebulon B to finish you off. This is a concentrate firepower. Um, I should do it. So we'll go from the rear arc. So that'll give us three reds instead of two reds. No, actually, I don't think my rear arc can hit you. It's gonna have to be the side arc. So two reds and one blue. This should do it. What you have? What do you have in your rear? Just Zero. One. Yeah, just one. One shield in one the shield. rear. Yeah. Come on, baby! Damn it! Ooh. One hit. One hit. One crit. That's all you need. Oh no, no, because no. I have one shield. Yeah. Yeah, because you got one shield. And I got nothing. Okay, yeah. so that shield goes down to zero. If you please. And then this arc. So awkward, can't hit. So we'll just try it. We'll fire at that. Okay. Um, with two blues. Uh, two hits. Two hits on the defenders. The scatter. You have a scatter on that? Yeah, I have scatter on all three of these. These the three that are living. I have scatter. No. Oh yeah, because Mauler. Yeah. Cool. Scatter is ridiculously powerful for fighters, is what I have uh, noticed. Okay. Well, that's uh, then that would be mm, everything. And yeah, now ship phase. Or uh, squadron. Uh, squadron phase. Squadron. Okay. Squadrons can finish you off. You have how many health? One? Yeah, he only has one health. All right. Well, then this bomber is coming in. <clears throat> B-Wings. B-Wings. In here. And what can we do, B-Wings? We got two black dice. Yeah, that'll do it. Here we go. One hit. <laughs> One hit. That's, That's all I needed. That's all you needed. Um, and I, all I can do... While attacking the ship, I can actually re-roll. So re-roll any misses. So they got two hits. Uh, actually, I'll reduce it to one hit, and still, it kills me. Two hits. Well, I'm lucky that I did that. It's yeah. a bomber. Well, it would have... I can't reduce it lower than one, so. All right, the yeah. B-Wings take out the victory, too. <laughs> okay, so the Rebels did get. Oh, yeah. But you know what? There was one turn where you weren't redirecting your shields on the interdictor. Remember, it was zero in the front? Yeah. And, well, no, I think it was because you didn't have engineering. I don't know why I thought there was an automatic engineering at the end of each turn. You had to pick engineering, and then you could have yeah, brought those shields back up. Right. So 
Yeah, if we were better pilots, we would have probably been putting more, more orders of raised shields. R- more repair orders. More yeah. repair orders. Yeah. We, we kinda, and you kind of get stuck because at the start, mm-hmm. the, the victory, you have to start with three orders. So you're stuck with those three orders. So those three turns, you're stuck with it. Yeah. So you really have to kind of think ahead, and it's like, so and I and I we didn't do this, and I don't know where these other like half tokens come into play or how they come into play. You know. So that's when you reveal the um, thing. Like say for example, I reveal concentrate firepower, right? right? Well, if you do that at the beginning when everybody is too far away. One thing we didn't do is you take the token and you put it next to your ship. And so as your ship, you've already banked one concentrate firepower, but it's a weaker type of concentrate firepower. So yeah. then when you finally spend that, then it'll give you an effect. Yeah. And again, I, I wouldn't know. I could see maybe in the beginning, but in the beginning, why? Yeah, you just there's go not a lot of reason to do it. So yeah. they, and, and I I remember not playing much with these. A ship with a command token may spend the token after it rolls dice uh, during an attack to re-roll one of the dice mm. is what the that that is but yeah okay so um i think i won i mean it was just oh, yeah, a yeah. introductory yeah, yeah. kind of scenario thingy this is a trading blows because the the remaining nebulon and the corvette will probably be able to yeah they'll mop up definitely the, definitely the fighters okay so what did you think i liked it I, yeah, I like the 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 nuance of it. it. A lot of different things going on at once. Uh, the fighters and the capital ships. Every mm-hmm. you got even like the the heroes and the fighters and stuff like that. And then your your capital ships having their their own admirals and stuff like that. I I, I like. There's I like a it. lot going on. There is a lot going on, and that's where it, what can be kind of overwhelming. Because um, right. a, a lot of a lot of the games we play and a lot of the games we like, we like quick results. Yes, results, I know? like I like lightning results. Yeah, I don't I don't, I don't mind for a chase a, chase a, a, ch- a change of pace. Mm-hmm. Uh, the the more uh, drawn out results, I guess you can say. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I do like the quick results. But for a change of pace, this is fine. I like it. I like Armada. I've always liked Armada. But the more I play it, the more flaws that I see for my style of game and a personal preference right. is that. I wish they would have streamlined it just a, a one or two clicks more, and then like this is all I would play. Right. It's that good. Um, so the things that kind of weigh it down is what gives it some of its complexity. So you have defense tokens that you're constantly interacting with. Mm-hmm. You have command dials. You have speed dials. You have command tokens in addition to the command dials. You have individual upgrade cards. You have you know the interactions of custom die faces then interacting with defense tokens before you can move your defense and so when you start to pile on all of those different mechanics it slows the game yeah and i think it's unnecessary i think there 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 could have been a different way to do some of these things um less components and you know effects on the cards but the bones of the game uh, is super solid i love the way squadrons are handled i love the way alternating actions are handled i love just you know rolling dice but then it kind of slows and yeah there's an interaction there's like every step has like three or four interactions between us you go this i do this i you do this i do this um but again that that being said the flavor of it the all the different little um avenues to to look at Mm -hmm. is just it's it's a lot and it 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 gives it good uh a good Good legs good legs good legs especially with all these custom cards and you're like oh i'm putting this admiral on this ship yeah i'm putting my veteran gunners on this ship so like the theory crafting before or after games is stronger than some other games uh, but it was three hours for an introductory scenario. It's just pretty good. Learning it's a game decent, for the yeah. first time, it's decent. decent. Especially with um, this, like like I said, this amount mm-hmm. of uh, interactions. But I would what I would say is like the fiddly level is like a you know, it was like a, a a three out of five, and and I want it to be like a one out of five. Yeah. So just like we could go real real fast and just back Actually, and forth. Actually, it's probably like a four out of five. It's probably like a four out of five. Thank you for saying yeah. that. You're right. 
and I want it to be more like a one or a two. Yeah. And so what is that? That's the difference between if you really like the game, you'd give it a 10, but I would give it a nine. But yeah. I think it's like a an eight it is where I've been mostly. Yeah. But I think with repeated plays, it could maintain eight. You know, yeah, you can yeah. go seven, eight, and then once you just play, 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 and then you're just going quick, then, you yeah. know, but you're still messing with all of the Yeah, it's a lot of stuff to bits. track, too. So the you got to read. Oh, like I forgot just to streamline this or, yeah. uh, you know. Streamline one or two more elements. And like really? You added five layers of complexity and yeah. depth when you only really needed to add two or three. And really, we didn't we didn't really go crazy on building our stuff. Right. We you kinda, had vanilla. Yeah, I was pretty well, much. Not, well, not, not too really, much. but. You had two one or two cards each yeah i mean but you know but we could truthfully crazy, we could have yeah. went crazy and had so much more yeah we had cards component to track. limits yeah like we're not min maxing everything like what's the best fucking yeah. upgrade card we kind of just and, but see that's a negative because then that creates a meta where it's like you but have then, to only play one way and yeah. only get veteran gunners every single time but otherwise again, you're just gonna lose but what well, yeah but in, in i don't the, like that in the counter to that I would say that it gives it more flavor and it gets lets you design or build the list that you want to play, yeah, or the way you want to play, you know. So I, I can see the the pros and cons of that, uh, but I think all in all, I'm at an eight. Also, okay. I'm at a solid eight. Yeah, I like it, but this this is not this is not high rotation game. This right. Once, See, that's one. That's one that I thought I was like, man, I want to do a campaign of this. Yeah. But now, the more I, the more I play it, I was like, okay, we have to be ready for it. Yeah. You have to really, really go, um, and it makes you hesitate to jump into a massive campaign for it. Because yeah. I do have the campaign system. Yeah. Because you know, I just love it. I love the minute like. It's highs are high. Yeah. It's highs are so high. The miniatures, the pre painted, oh, so yeah. good. The they, customization, they look so great. the yeah. art, the quality, the miniatures, so good. So, so as long as you're willing to have a little bit of fiddliness, which you, sh which I should, right? right? I play 15 year old yeah. space battle games where <laughs> that shit will take five hours to simulate two fucking ships fighting each and, other. And um, yeah. But for some reason, because at this scale, I feel like it should run faster and it should you be think, streamlined right? a yeah. little bit more think, at this scale. But I'm, I'm, okay, with it. I'm okay with it. 2020. But like I said, it, it's it's not a high rotation. I'm okay with the fiddliness. Okay. I'm okay with Me all too. the interactions. Me too. But like I, if we were playing a, a, a campaign game amongst all the 50 miniatures games we own, yeah. there would probably be other ones that come in front of this one. Of course, yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right, cool. Well, hey, thank you all for hanging out with us a little bit as we learned, uh, relearned Star Wars Armada. And, uh, yeah, join us tomorrow. We're going to be doing some Suicide Squad. And I like the Star Wars game where the scale was more at the fighter corvette level. Yeah, that's what I like. Excellent. I'm I, I he, or he likes X Wing, yeah. right? Fighter and Corvettes. The yeah. biggest ships you're gonna get is this bi is the yeah. Carillion Corvette. Yeah. They actually make one. Me, I prefer at the capital ship level with fighters well, coming at each I other. Mean, next, stuff. let's do like X Wing that. next. No, I don't no. like X Wing. No, no, I just don't like X Wing. <laughs> okay, yeah. All right. <laughs> all right. Anyways, all right. Well. thank y'all for hanging out. Daddy needs coffee. Appreciate you, Samurai Queen, a Joe Dog. Let's play, Sir Flammy, uh, Taco Loco, uh, the Super Star Destroyer. Logan, I have it. It's in the closet. Yeah. Yeah. We we played it one time with uh, Joe and Ray and Alex. It was pretty fun, but it was just like it just sat there and we were just pounding on it. <laughs> It wasn't very much of a game because the table actually is supposed to be three by three uh -huh. at 300 points or under or three by six at more than 300 points. So, yeah. Will you play Warhammer Old World? Yes, yes. we have old. We it's have coming. Warhammer Old World. We just need to get all our stuff painted. And get I am it together. I yeah. am excited to play it. I want to go, go a little throwback. Yeah. Um, but there are other rank and file systems that we are looking forward to playing as well one of them uh song of ice and fire yep. we'll start playing that once season two of house of dragon shows up and another one called conquest, conquest. it's uh, the new kid on the block some amazing miniatures i'm curious to see what they do different with their actual system and games rules yep. but other than that yeah yeah good well, night guys thank you all so much for hanging out and we will see you tomorrow bye everybody